Welcome to the OSRs podcast where we talk about RuneScape related things with RuneScape related content creators and last vid. Over 250 likes. Holy fuck, we're famous, guys. How's it feel? We're famous now. It feels it's good, over. man. Ooh, baby. Yeah. We, we, should aim, we should aim for 400 this video. Oh 400 likes, boys. Talk Give us it. more, please. Love you. 400 all. likes, <laughs> and we will never talk over each other again. That is a guarantee. <laughs> yes. And if, <laughs> and if we do, your likes back. we'll just raise the like goal. So uh, I am Mitt Cow, one of the hosts of the channel, followed by. What's going on, boys? Rexy here. And Rice Cup. So today we have a good friend here, Loso Gamers, or otherwise known as Dave. He's a YouTuber and streamer, primarily focuses on um, Iron Man content. He used to do a lot of main content as well, but like uh, uh, either way, it's a lot of PVM centric, skilling centric content. So like a mini rice cup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, different take, I suppose. Yeah. Yo, uh, I, I don't know. I guess I'll, I'll jump in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was your cue, uh, buddy. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I'm not used to podcasts, man. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, 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 understandable, brother. Really. Max main, by the way, uh, almost maxed iron, 2k total hardcore, getting there, man. Nice, dude. Although, um, yeah. although I'm just saying, you know, if you only skill on a hardcore, you're not really playing a hardcore. Just no, he's been doing some <laughs> scary stuff, man, on his hardcore. <laughs> dude, with these servers, you're crazy, man. Stuff. Fuck yeah, that. I just finished. I just finished Cerberus uh, yesterday or two days ago, I think. Yo, grass, man. So, how many times have you uh, almost died to a DC so far? Twice. Once Twice? was my own internet. Uh, I my power went out right before I went to Zami God Wars. Holy shit! And then the other one was uh, of like a, two months ago or something. The servers lagged out at Cerberus as it was ghosts coming out, lava pools coming out. Oh! And then, oh, but oh, I, I always, I always wear the ring of life. You know, everyone hates on the smart. ring of life. No, no, it's smart. But dude. I, I was two ticks away from getting my HP back, and if that HP went up, the ring of life wouldn't have gone off. So I was two ticks away from losing my hardcore status. That's one point two seconds for you. Uh, yep. Uh, <laughs> How many That's hours cool. are you gambling right now, like on your hardcore? Uh, I say like maybe like twenty five hundred or something. Oh like that. my god, that is so <laughs> gross <laughs> to gamble. Yeah, that. Now you oh. you do have a lot to lose because you have an original Iron Man. You know. Yeah, I don't. I, if like this account dies, really. I'm not. I'm literally not playing it anymore. Yeah, because then you oh, just have man. to do it again. <laughs> I was just about to ask, what would you do if you actually did die on that account? Well, because I was brutal. saying my uh my regular iron, I'm maxing it in like a month, and that's already got like almost everything in the game aside from. You know the three biggest items that I can never seem to get my hands on, being the you know Lance Tebow scythe. But yeah, I mean, just... your hardcore has a freaking Lance, and your main doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I, dude, I was so happy when I got that. I uh, freaked out, dude. I woke up my wife. She was kind of mad, but it was alright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you want to do? Uh, do you guys have some general Q and As for Dave? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, let's do a general Q and A. So, yo, Dave, how long have you been playing RuneScape for? Oh, for you're an accomplished sake. RuneScape uh, player, man. I think, That's always the question I go to every day of I think, time. I think I've been like since like consistently. I think I've been playing like pretty much since old school came out. Oh wait, so you didn't play back in the day? I Way did, but I was like, I was not good. No uh, one was. Yeah, no okay, one except well, Rainsy was, was apparently. Yeah, no one like, was, man. No I played. Was. I played when I was like really young with my friends, like everybody did. But you know, I just remember killing hill giants and you know, like the things that you look at now and you're like, oh, it's a cute noob, you know? Yeah, yeah. You got the long yeah, sword. Oh five, oh six. Uh, yeah. I have no idea. I I played before Dungeoneering came out. We're trying to get your account know, deets, right. dude. So if you can be a little more specific oh, yeah, yeah. here. Yeah, early uh, oh yeah, just go ahead, go. No, I don't play that account anymore. Anyway, when when's your membership <laughs> start? You know? <laughs> you know I actually. Might know the answer to that one, but obviously I'm not going to share it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, he's an early 2000s boy. That like that's us. cool. That's respectful. Hey, listen, man. Like regardless of when you started playing, you've got like almost two max RuneScape accounts. So. Yeah, you've done on, more in on, that on, small amount of time than I have in all these years. <laughs> okay, that's not something. That's not something that I really mentioned too much. People, uh, <laughs> that's not something most people are proud of, man. <laughs> oh, dude, I'd be proud. Uh, I feel like proud of that. I, I've, I've played this game for way too long not to have a max account. Just I, there's some skills that. Wait, Rexy's not max. I'm traumatized from training, man. Oh no. shit, dude. No, you oh yeah, Rexy was max. I don't know why. Dude, no. No. Okay. Hell no, man. I think I've got like max. Like XP, combat. I don't know what it is. Yeah, because I just do combat. That's all I do. Gotcha. Like, I did PK and then PVM. But I feel like, dude, I've played the game for such a long time. I'm such a casual. I need to max an account. I need to. 
Like that's how you become a master of RuneScape, right? Mm. You know, new series idea, Rick C. But no, Max. that's yeah, that's, real oh, new, that's another, dude. That's real thing, new, man. Yeah. Dude, imagine mate, just like RuneCrafting for a month, one video a month. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Have to imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. I don't, I, I don't know. I should actually. I, think, I could work on it right now. Actually. Hey, you do a lot of PKing and stuff, so I mean, you just do it on the <clears> side. That's what I did with all my accounts. Like, play a second account where you're doing something entertaining, and then just skill on the side. I never yeah. like actively really tried for it. Yeah, that's what I do. Hmm. Fuck that. Yeah, fuck all that. Oh, yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. That. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd rather touch Didn't my balls on the side, dude. Do <laughs> I mean, you do that anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so how am I going to triple task, dude? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, so, Dave, dude. What's Dave short for? Just Dave. All right. This is going to be really dumb. Dave, yo? No. This is going to be really <laughs> dumb. Okay, so... Like, I, I started playing the game, I don't know, back... Like, I came back around RS three times. I was kind of interested, because I played a lot of WoW, so I was like, oh, abilities, I can handle that. It seems interesting, right? Uh, there is this meme video that was around at the time called I'm the best. Like, I'm the best. Except one word. So I tried to make that my username, and I screwed it up, and then it was just, I'm Dave's. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, I guess... I'll run with this, and then it just kind of slowly <laughs> got like whittled down into Dave. And I'm like, all right, screw it. I'm sticking with this. It's fine. Oh, well, that I'm is the best to Dave. <laughs> that is the I worst mean, lore for a name, bro. But it's better than exactly. mine. Exactly. But... <laughs> that's just what makes it perfect, man. There's no like no reason. So your to name's it. not Dave. I was thinking Gabriel, Gabriel. You know, I never heard of that name before. Calls me, everyone calls me Dave. Always. Oh. I I just accept it. I'm like, all right. This is, it's fine. I, I just, sure. <laughs> yeah. How far away is that from your real name? Pretty far. Okay. All right. Just trying to I get the login be, info still. So. Oh, no. I used to be really open about that stuff before I got hacked a couple years ago. Because yeah. then I was like, you know, kind of seal off the information. I like to be really personal with my audience. And yeah. I hate that I can't do that on RuneScape. Because yeah, you can't say anything, man. People can use the smallest bit of information to get your account these days. Yeah, no. Dude, I, fuck I the know. account, man. I remember someone sent me a Google map, and they had, like, an X from my apartment where I lived at, and they sent oh, that uh, shit to me, and I'm thinking, yeah. what are you going to do? I mean, when, uh, <laughs> kill when, yourself? Usually, <laughs> when I got hacked for the Tebo back, uh, like, Jesus, I don't know. That was, like, January 2017 or something. That was a while ago. I had uh, see, people were sending me death threats on Twitter. Oh, I was yeah. like... First of all, I didn't do anything wrong. I was like, I was the victim in this situation. Yeah. People, people sending me death threats. And then I had uh, the guy who hacked me, he hacked one of my friends on Facebook. No, and then dude. He that's started the same sending, way I got hacked. Yeah, he, started, he started sending me messages through Facebook of, like, my address, my full name. my I wasn't married yet, but, like, my girlfriend's name, my brother's name, like, my address. And I had to call up, like, the, the local SWAT team and be like, hey... I don't know if this guy is going to, like, swat me or something. So I was, I got pretty friendly. He was a great guy, very nice. But that's not exactly the conversation you want to have, is, like, calling up the head of the SWAT team and, like, hey. Oh, I thought you said the, so you know. the guy on Facebook was nice. After a yeah. while, you guys get a friendship going. Oh, dude, so he's the only guy I never know. know. <laughs> so your, your friend on Facebook had your info or something? No, no, it wasn't, it wasn't, like, actually the guy. Somebody... Like, the guy who hacked me hacked my friend's Facebook just to message me. What? First yeah, of all, I, dude, yeah. who does that to know. a guy named Dave? But, who does that? Dude, I mean, to right, a guy named Dave, right? Maybe, like, that's a Dave right. Riel, but not so, a Dave. Do you know how they got you, then? Yeah. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure it was, uh, like, old information that got leaked. I know my account got recovered because you know how that is, man. Like, database leaks and shit over time happens. Oh, okay. So it was, like, an older email that you had on? Probably. Yeah, then they, uh, dude, they were on my account for like six hours before the account got locked. So, like, this person's in That's my cringe. CC spamming, they're spamming like <laughs> racist things. They got rid of both of my mutagens. Oh, oh, it was bad. Oh, was bad. man. Jeez, the only power he's ever had in his life. It's funny, if you think about it, older RuneScape content creators, you know, do you think Elf Mage had to deal with this shit? Right? You know, just dude, think of it. I think hacking was still a thing, but I don't think people cared as much back then. Right. Like now, people got time on their hands, though. You just want to make a yeah. RuneScape video, and next thing you know, they're talking about your lady on Facebook. 
What the fuck, I mean, man? The, the, tr <laughs> the difference, dude, the difference between, like, Elf Mage and then, like, any streamer now is that Elf Mage, like, do any of you Sucks. know what his name is? <laughs> what he looks like? Where he's from? Like, <laughs> all of his identities hidden, right? If you if you go into Dave's stream, you instantly know that he's from America. And, like, wow, well, you don't know your name, but, you know, there's information that's dude, just there in front of you. Dave's not yeah. from America. So more, he's from Tokyo, more, yeah, dude. What the heck? He's totally Canadian. Yeah, man. look at no. him. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, 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 I was going to say, man, I don't know the fuck. It's the plaid shirt, plaid. isn't it? You racist. <laughs> no, this, what do you mean? This is just this is country living right here, dude. I don't know what you're saying. He's got some hay bales <laughs> in the back, boy. dude. Not, my right. neighbors have cows, dude. I live. That's like they're how that far fat. They're that fat. <laughs> yeah, he's that far back, dog. <laughs> no, it's not they're that fat. Shit joke. Not, they're, they're, they're nice people. They just have cows. <laughs> This is a little weird. Do you smell? Do you smell anything funny every time you wake up? <laughs> That's just you, man. <laughs> sorry, wait, what? I, I'm sorry. I was, I was. No, I was, I was implying that cows were smelly, so you wouldn't. Oh no, yeah, you got that. It Talk takes me shit about cows takes again, right? Thirty minutes, dude. <laughs> the it takes me thirty minutes to get to the grocery store by car each oh, way. Oh my god. It's, I mean, it's nice though. You, you Wait, know, it's... What, what state do you live in, man? Do you live in? I... Oh, he's gonna get doxxed again, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, right. okay. Which but which you're... region in the U.S.? I'm I'm East Coast. Okay, right. yeah, 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 yeah. He's an East so Coast boy. You're from like a farmer state. All right. So yeah, I just think Texas yeah. instantly. Little did Not you know, to... Rake Texas is an East Coast though, man. <laughs> is it? Oh, is I don't know. Southern Central dog. Well, right. it's funny because I'm like. No, you get a Bible Belt dog. I, I'm like the English equivalent of you, I suppose, because I'm from like the country here as well. Like I live in a tiny ass village, and for me to get to like the biggest town is at least a thirty minute drive. Uh, like we we don't have any fast food here at all. If I want fast food, any fast food you can think of, McDonald's, KFC, etc. Bear in mind we don't have fuck all here in the UK. Like it's at least a thirty minute drive, a thirty minute drive to get it. See, yeah, I, I love the way it's it says thirty. Fun, man. <laughs> and we're surrounded by cows and sheep. Big old yeah. open fields, man. But I love it. I I watch a lot of comedians <clears throat> over where you live there, Rakesy, and they say that uh, the sheep get active sexually. Oh, with, you're uh, talking about the Welsh. Oh, am I? I'm not saying nothing. Yeah. I, don't know, I just li I live the <laughs> comedian part in this conversation. I was... Hey, hey, listen. I, I I'm a farmer myself. Effectively, I can tell you why that's such a rumor. The, there's, it's a whole, true? There's, there's the rumor, isn't there, between Welsh people sleeping with um, with sheep? Yeah, it, there is truth in it because, and it's kind of fucked up. It's disgusting. But um, if you were to compare an animal's genitalia to a human's, a yes, sheep's genitalia that. is oh, the closest <laughs> to a female vagina that you can get. Oh, and God, way back right. in the day, and possibly even to this <laughs> Wait, day, there are a lot of very, very lonely old Welsh farmers that are up in the mountains that have no <laughs> women around. Are surrounded by these walking fucking vaginas. Wait, basically. man, what are you talking about? Sheep being <laughs> active to sheep. No, no. Sheep chaggers. Oh, no, this is what I was about talking about. Oh but I God. didn't expect an anatomy lesson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's because a, I'm a farmer, and b, I live very close to well. Three, he's very fond of and sheep. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. But no, there, there, there is truth. There is truth in it, but it's probably best not to say to a Welsh person, "Do you shag sheep?" Because you'll probably get slapped. Where did you learn about this anatomy? Like third grade? They had like a presentation well, or something in science? Oh, wow, I mean, I mean, it's just where I'm from, the area I'm from. People like talk about stuff like that. Oh, yeah. that's that's fantastic, dude. Just that's... passing by conversation, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, the first <laughs> I mean, topic between what should go. Just got this it's new sheep. <laughs> tight as fuck, boy. Hey, listen, you, you can't say <laughs> that you guys haven't learned something today. I, I guess fair. People I watching the Thank podcast you. as well have learned something. One, so one last welcome. horrible fact here, all right? Because my friend makes jokes like this all the time. Apparently, you got to wear boots, and then you slap the back legs into your boots so they can't run. So just one last what? horrible fact. Isn't that the worst? <laughs> What? Oh my god. I don't know, man. Welcome All right, to moving. Animal Anatomy podcast. <laughs> this is why we get demonetized. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say something, but I didn't want to go there, man. Welcome to the podcast, Dave. Uh, okay, so Dave, and then you have Low Soul Gaming, right? I got that right. Mm -hmm. Okay, what Low the fuck Gaming is that? Is the channel. What, what that is was, that? uh, I don't want to get too into it because, like, it's a little personal. Like, I've, I've had some pretty low moments when I was when I was younger. My brother and I, we started this channel because he also has experienced that kind of stuff too. So we started the channel together as just 
for fun. Like we thought it'd be a fun thing to do. And, you know, it just kind of turned into something I became very passionate about. Started playing RuneScape, started making videos on that. If you go like really far back in my channel, you can find like there's the cringy COD things. I, I might oh. not have unlisted all of them. Dude, those are like the, the best. That's fucking... Oh yeah, I watch them back and I'm just uh, like the whole time. Oh no, he's looking. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude. Oh. I'll see what happens here. <laughs> It's just, it's kind of like a what lower point in my life before I started to to be a bit more optimistic and kind of like always try and look at the, the more positive side of things. Oh, this man got a Patreon, bro. Oh, he got some what? news yeah. this bitch. Damn, <laughs> dude. Let's see what we get from this. There's not a whole lot. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me ask you about the Patreons. So, Shoot, go for it. As opposed to like Twitch subscriptions, what what are you finding? Like, how are you, how are you managing between juggling these two, like, Crowd raising, money raising platform. Uh, I honestly like with the YouTube join, the like Twitch subs, Patreon. I look at them all the same way. Like not everybody watches me stream, and some people might not really even watch all my videos anymore, but they still want to support. And and like I made the Patreon page before like Twitch affiliate and all that was a thing. So before I had a sub button, before the YouTube join, all that existed. I was just kind of <laughs> like, look, it's there. If you want to support me, go for it. But obviously, I would never sit there and be like, hey, if you're not supporting me, I don't like you anymore. Like, that's stupid. <laughs> that's how, that's my sales pitch, so. I don't know, man. If you don't like me, <laughs> you got to pay, dude. Yeah, no, yeah they... I mean, like, I, I guess it's kind of just, like, it's just you... there. As a, it was a means no, of man. being more personal with people. Yeah. Too. Man, why don't you just sort it by date of Otis? How dare you teach me things? I don't know. Oh, good, man. Say, what? good luck. There's, like, 700 what videos. What the here. fuck <laughs> is that, dude? Oh, man. <laughs> I think oh, you can no, count the pixels fine. in this video. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <This was, laughs> what the fuck? This <laughs> so, oh, no. Dude, this bro, so you ain't even in the frame, dude. What is this? No, you like the video. Look, bro. I'm hiding, all right? <laughs> it's a, it's like how you used to do intros. You would hide your gear. Come on. Oh, this oh, one. what the fuck is this, dude? Hey, look, you we went to the right time. It's probably the only kill I get the whole video. Okay, this so. is an <laughs> Iron Man content, dude. Oh, what is, I don't I don't think even out yet, dude. <laughs> what is this man's unsubscribing? All right, come on. <laughs> Sorry, man. It was fun, but no, I, gotta, dude, I gotta leave this. That's just that's that old stuff, you know. Like back in the day, everyone used to do like the holiday, uh, like PKing. You used to it's the gimmicky things, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I'm gonna get roasted for scrolling yeah. down, aren't I? Oh god! Yeah, I mean, yeah. I was, I Holy fuck! <laughs> yeah, I played RS3. All right, you can hate oh! me. RS3. That's what is where this? I started playing again. Okay. Hypocrisy that from the immortal leaders. Oh, oh okay. lordy! All right, all right. Let me give you some backstory on this. A deep dive. This is a all right. Deep before dive. I played old school, I was a PKer. On RS3, I Whoa. know everyone's like, "What? Who? Right? You don't think anybody did?" I was that really, like, I was, like, super entitled asshole guy who would, like, I would attack everybody. <laughs> I, I mean, look, not too, I was pretty good. I would kill them all, too. What are you, but, what I mean, it? like. I have no idea what's going on. Are you guys swapping sperm cells? What's that spell, dude? I mean, yeah, I have, soul split, this, soul, this man is not soul know, split? Soul what the heck? heck? Dude, I have no idea. It looks like Casper's just bouncing around, dude. It's Bro, so it's random. Soul split, dude. That's some pretty What EOC the fuck's shit? going yeah, on, was, dude? There was, uh. Basically, what it was is like because of the fact that not that many people PK. That's actually I'm still friends with some of the people I PK'd with on RS3. But I made a lot of money on that game. I think I had like I started with nothing, and within like a year, I had like a six bill bank from PK. Because uh, damn, dude. No one. Well, the thing is, skulls <laughs> didn't exist at that time in RS3. So anytime, yeah. anytime someone walks out, they would always be risking everything. So you know, if someone runs out to the the chaos rift and they're full Torva. You kill them. You get full Torva from it, you know? Someone walks out in the wilderness thinking they're just going to go have a good time. They're not risking their Virtus, their, you know, all that. Oh, my Kill God. Them. All these words are foreign to me. Virtus. Yeah, dude. No, that's like, armor, what? That was Nex well, Armor. You didn't know Nex <laughs> Armor? <laughs> all right, we can tell me. <laughs> dude. Man was a very low-level player. Jeez, oh, yeah. I was at the Goblins, boy. Yo, can I read out <laughs> this comment, by the way, five years ago? Good fight. Dogs rule on 99 time. Neither of them can make good excuses or PK. I honestly think they have something wrong. I don't know. Maybe they were oh, dropped man. on their heads. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to anyone. You could say that back in the day. You wouldn't get in trouble for that, man. Yeah, Over yeah, RuneScape 3 PKing, though, man. What it the was, fuck? Uh, okay, like there was some <laughs> clicks, all right? 
And oh, there, was, man. there was rushing in that game too, but there was like ways you would do it where you stall so you could use like really strong abilities right at the start of a fight that you wouldn't otherwise be able to use. I think and I some found of these guys would go around. There it is. You found it. I found it. Oh, there's a Skyrim yes. video. Oh. Yes, dude. This is a 12 Skyrim. second video, man. It's right. beautiful. All right, I love okay, it. what type of player would you sneak or do you like to go all Dude, in, all out? I honestly don't even remember. This is this is like six years ago content, man. Come on, you gotta respect dude, this. 25 <laughs> likes, though. You I played the wrong game, dude. Ago. Just and saying, I man. Sneak, dude. I sneaked. I sneaked everywhere. It was all oh, Me too. I sneaked everywhere too, man. And I always yeah, made everyone I'm naked. Such a pussy. Did you do that too? <laughs> I made everyone pussy. naked. I, I regret sneaking all the time. Shit was scary, bro. I honestly, I wasn't as into Skyrim as everyone else's. I thought it was fun. But like, yeah, yeah, you know, it's not. I don't think it's. All right, I'm probably gonna get so I'll much hate for this. Like, oh, the quick snipe! I'm, I'm getting my money. Getting, oh, getting, oh, yes, subscribe, dude! Man. Come on. Sixty. Subscribe. He's playing the wrong game, boys. He obviously yeah. had made it back and. Oh, holy man. fuck! Right. This is that amazing. It's like literally 2011. Come on, you can't really. Holy shit! Oh god, this is some okay, good man. quality for 2011, dude. Really I think we should stop trying to roast Dave on, on his older video. Oh, no, dude, you can't roast me. Look how good I was. Come on, you can't even be mad at that. Gross, this guy's better Honestly. than me now. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I blow. Wait, which, is this called forum watching? M3. M3. Oh, this M3. is 3? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's been a while. I don't really play that much FPS. Yo, so, um, yeah, you want to talk about the situation with your older uh, content creator friend Ninja, right? That, um, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, older yeah, friend Ninja? This is more yeah, of a no, PSA. Not, not budget ninja, not the not the. No, uh, no, no, I know. Ninja. Yeah, 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 I know, I know ninja. But pretty I much don't... what happens. I okay, so ninja, he he made really similar content to mine back with with me and Wop, who is like another very old friend. Um, and we used to make videos together. We used to, you know, when raids came out, we'd raid together all the time. And recently, you know, we haven't talked much in the last year, maybe year and a half. But recently, I have this group of friends raid with all the time, and you know, we have, not to to my own horn we make a lot of money you know you, you pvm you raid all day you make a lot of money doing it so ninja i think got hacked or staked his bank away or something like that and he was close friends with our group so one of the people in our group lent him a tebow that tebow got from what i understand real world traded and like he borrowed someone else's tebow and then rwt did it and then another one of ninja's friends paid back that Tebow to the person that I raid with, the person in my raids group, and also lent Ninja max strength and a scythe. Because Wait, he's what? like, oh. Wait, oh, what? why would he do that? Because he trusted him. You know, they're, they were close friends. They probably talked all the time. And he wanted him to make the money back so he could, you know, pay him back for it, whatever. Wait, so he, after after Ninja had scammed, he was then lent another 1.5? By, by a different person, yeah. Okay, so okay, so what happened is my friend, my friend, I'm not gonna name him because I don't think he wants to get named in the video, but my friend lent Ninja a twisted bow, Ninja RWT the twisted bow, and then a different one of Ninja's friends paid back my original friend for the T bow, with the assumption that Ninja would, you know, rip him just basically to be in debt to somebody else. Okay. And then that same person who paid back his original loan also lent him a scythe and max strength. Can I be friends apparently, with that guy too? Because that guy's right, really yeah, no, cool. Yeah, nice friend, right? But <clears> apparently, <throat> like all of that is gone now. Like for this is just happening this morning. The the guy logged on to Ninja's account because I guess they shared the account. I don't really know. And all his entire friends list was deleted. He had like double name changed again. There was nothing. The entire account was cleaned off. So basically, he just screwed over another person, from my understanding of it. And wow. after he. After he scammed my friend, we at first we were like, okay, maybe, you know, you gotta give benefit of the doubt for your friends. Like maybe he got hacked, maybe something happened. But he he double name changed. He like blocked us or like blocked people on Twitter or not Twitter, on uh, Discord, like wasn't talking to people. It's just one of those you just hate to see it, man. People who care about pixels more than friendships. Yeah, just... so the thing is though, uh, you never knew about him per like personally, right? Like his IRL. I, stuff I mean at we all. talked a little bit, but I don't really like I don't yeah, really ask that stuff into, unless right. people want to talk about it, you know. Yeah. Like yeah, that's great. Like, I I I know who this ninja guy is, by the way. I used to be friends with him. Yeah, he um, was a good. He was a good guy. Like I never had a problem with him. He <clears> made <throat> you know interesting videos. He put in the grind. He had great accounts. I don't know. I guess he just either got sick of the game or maybe something happened real. That's there's no excuse though. I mean, you don't. Yeah, there's no friends, excuse. Man. It's just yeah. You kind of wish you knew a little bit more about him, IRL. Yeah. Though. 
Because then you can put into context a bit more what's going on, but... Man, this story, yeah. this story made me sad, dude. Now I'm sad, bro. I'm sorry. I'm just, look. This is a bad he, ma- time. he made videos. It's more just like, it's a PSA. If if people watch him or, I mean, he doesn't, he hasn't uploaded in a long time, but like, people used to watch him. Just just understand that this is a situation that happened. I don't want to see anybody else get scammed for their stuff. Man. Yeah. Sounds- also, it, it doesn't matter who, who you're sharing your accounts with. Just don't share your accounts with anybody, dude. I, That's I fair. I yeah. share my mom, dude. Yeah. I also, I, I I don't. Well, actually, I'm not gonna talk don't about do it. That. Just don't. I was just about to say. I was just about to say, don't give items out to people. But then I realized I've got like 1.6 bill lent out to people right now. <laughs> and well, I was okay. so, dude. I, I haven't logged in on my yeah, main in so long deal, now. I don't right? even know who's got my Tebow. Yeah. I've, if I've you lend, if you lend stuff out to people, don't expect to get it back. No. <laughs> Yeah, because you know if you let it out, if it's gone, it's gone. You know yeah, what? Yeah. Nah, dude, expect yeah. it back, dude. There's still friendship and love in RuneScape, damn it. There right? is. I, I believe in that. I really do. You know, I don't. I ain't lending shit, dude. but I believe in it. You know, I, I lost I a set of bandos. Never again. It. Fuck it. Believe it. <laughs> oh, come on, bro. I don't think the second you lend it, it's gone. I just think that some people, when money's involved, they really show their true colors. And it's it, there's yeah. you know yeah. there's been other content creators or streamers and stuff it's happened in the past and you, you hate to hear about it i don't look personally i don't judge people for rwt i i don't it's their life circumstance whatever it is and if they, as long as they accept the consequences for their actions you know like you bought your rwt whatever you get banned you accept that but if you do it with someone else's items man that's when it's like yeah that's just scummy i just that's got like a question in your friend's house <clears throat> and stealing money like a business supply and demand, right? So they get their supply, but who the fuck is demanding all of this gold? Like who who's buying so there's, much gold every oh, fucking I mean, day? There's got to be people. Holy there fuck, is. dude. That's, that's a, buy that shit. an insane amount. You know what I mean? Yeah, who love to buy the gold? Fuck. <laughs> I mean, you, you ever been to pest control, man? Come on. I mean, like Holy. Dude. How do you <laughs> suck so man. much ass dude, that they pe- like so many people, so much ass, so much sucking. Man. I mean, I think it's just like a really casual person. They don't really care about the rules. Maybe they just came into the game or something. And yeah, they just they see everyone with the cool gear and they're like, "Yeah, yeah. I kind of want that, you know." You know what There's I miss so though? People... Yeah, 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 go ahead. Oh, so I was just going to say, man, there's no more dragon longsword noobs because of the dragon short sword, and I think we're missing out here, right? Yeah. Just saying, you never see anybody with full granite and a D long. It's always a dragon sword now, and it just kind of ruined my uh, experience in RuneScape. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, man. I missed that. What are you saying, Rice? Oh, no, that's all good. Uh, <laughs> I ruined your story with that. Else <laughs> in particular. Is, is there any, should we move on to LMS now? Feel yes. Like we, we've, uh, you know, picked enough of dave's a brain here <laughs> well here dave have you played lms are you enjoying i it? i have watched people play it and i'm interested i've tried some anti pking and stuff in the wilderness myself but i would never consider myself a pk like what about the runescape uh, 3 pk dude Jump all in. right look come all on, right bro. come on man. come on bro. Uh, i'm not like i just i think the skill gap is too high for me like i know i'll never be able to do like the one tick gmall and all that like i like watching pking i do but I, I'm not good at it. Personally, you know? the G Mall is your the least of your problems in this game mode. I would say. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's fair. Only one that's time fair. I died to the mall, and the guy one tick thirty five thirty five my ass through Jeez. armor. So I mean, I was just like, yeah, whatever. I can't beat that. That was dumb. But other than that, I've never seen it be used. That's the longsword dog. <laughs> oh, every like, time I, I get I that. A lot about it. I just Yo. don't. I'm not like good at it. You know. Rakesy, yeah, have yeah, you gotten yeah, the VLS? Yeah. Wait, you talking to me? Yeah, yeah. Have you gotten the VLS <laughs> oh, at LMS? Oh, sorry, dude. I, I did not hear my name at all then. I just heard VLS. Uh, I've never got one from the chest, but I've looted one. Dude, they're so good. I, I think how, I regularly hit a 51. They? They're super rare. Yeah, because I've never had any, like, PvP weapon at all. Like, I just get the standard, like, Fury, G more Aram's top. I've never had anything fancy, literally. It's very... It, I've got it a couple times. It has to be from the bloodier key, though. The last five. Blood... Oh, yeah. okay, yeah, because someone said to me about that. Dude, I love this Last Man Standing update. I just hope that, it, like, if they bring out... They need to think of the reward system, mate. I think that's what's going to basically make or break this Last Man Standing. It's like, if they make the rewards good and it actually be worth going there, whether you're getting ranks or you're getting money or you're getting items, like, I think this being successful depends on that. I like, could read the reward system if you want. I think they've been thinking about the rewards. Okay. I, dude, I've re- I've read those rewards, honestly. Like, 
Is there anything there about cash? I need the best Here, let me, <clears throat> let me read it out for the podcast because I, I don't think I've actually read this. Uh, let's, let's talk okay. about rewards. Currently, LNS doesn't offer any other than a GP prize awarded to the winner of the highest staking games. This is usually for mini games given that they typically offer rewards that are useful elsewhere. Below is a popular, okay. Uh, it is currently retired dead man mode. There was a set of armor that players could use, the blood money <clears throat> armor. So people, I don't. Yeah, I don't care about the armor. Yeah, I don't what, think what, cares did about anyone? The armor. I'm sorry, graphic designers, you did good. He looks like the guy from Shrek, but I don't give a fuck to be <laughs> honest. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. While in the wilderness under under level 20, some untradeable items will be lost on death. Players can now take these broken items to Purdue, who will repair them for free in order to encourage the use of the items in deeper wild. So I think they want to make it so you can actually. Not imbue an item, but yeah, it's like that. So you could uh, you could effectively imbue like a full set of void and take it to like Beige Bank, and if you died, you wouldn't lose it. That's yeah. what they're saying. Because yeah. uh, if you don't I... know, if you die over twenty wild, it turns to cash. You'd lose yeah. your shit. You lose. Uh, so it. I mean, okay. that's that that's I, I don't really have a problem with that. I guess it's okay. It just means that like you're gonna see a lot more infernal capes at like Mage Bank over level twenty wieldy because like that's pretty much the plus one people really care about. I mean, you think um, that many people that do deep RP can't I have infernal capes? Too. So I feel like it's kind of yo on on a note. That's true. On that's the same note, point. I slapped a guy for infernal cape at Mage Bank the other night. <laughs> so I mean, the, the guy was not very good, man. <laughs> Dude, he lost it so hard. He was not very good either. I don't know what he was doing. I think he bought. Wait, did he? You you killed the guy for the improvement. Yes, he died. He yeah, hundred percent lost. Yeah, I clipped it. I was like, I've never seen, you know, a guy <laughs> risking a frontal cave, and I just domed his ass. Dude, feels bad. Shit, man. Was he like actually PKing with it, or was he just like out there? Yeah, he was scold. He attacked me. Yeah, I, I, that's, I don't know, then, man. I got sounds like a bot that. account, to be honest. That's, <laughs> I mean, that's possible. They can't catch everyone, you know. Yeah, he no, he he like bought it. He didn't bought it. He yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So I mean, like back to this last man standing rewards, dead man armor. I don't think anyone cares about that. The yeah. halos, the halos. That's great. Like they look good on pures. They look good on mains. That's okay, I suppose. XP rewards. Um, I'm not a fan of the XP rewards simply because it says for the top five players Holy you moly. get experience in combat, which I'm not a massive fan of because like there'd be no point in me playing Last Man Standing on my main, for example. I suppose that could be if the XP is good, like you could effectively make like a level three account, go to Last Man Standing, and like just be that good at the game, you could effectively max an account. Yeah, but there's that you. worry too. Like people would always boost it if that exists. You know, just like with Castle Wars, people boost their tickets up. I'm sure people would boost that. If there's XP rewards too. Yeah, they I could mean, try. It could be abusable. They, um, I've I mean, seen take a people, lot of people, but you know. Yeah, I've seen people teaming actually on LMS beta where they'll uh, they'll <clears> lock <throat> each other or they'll freeze and run around a tree and PJ the other dude off. So there are ways to get around. The one v one solos. Yeah, but let's be dude, real; I those guys are always shit. Clip. Yeah, they always lose. Yeah. They always suck yeah. ass. But like, I, I'm just gonna be honest. Like, the, a lot of these rewards here, like, I'm not. I'm. It, it's not that I'm against them, but I'm not really for them either. So, like, the staff of balance, whatever. I don't care. Bolas, that is a massive no for me. Do you guys know what Bolas is? Yeah, it's like the range the weapons. Range. Is it like yeah. Molasses? Yeah. Oh, uh. dude, like mint. This will make like Ragger's life just so much better. If they if they bring Bolas into the game, Braggers are gonna have a field day, mate. Honestly, not good news for the Wildy at all. What do you what do you think I about like else. what do you think about like Morgan's javelins? Not like, the game, not like, not so, like, dude. Though. That's those are. Well, see, like, I said, like I'm not just, I'm not much of a PK, but I mean, you already got like your dragon thoraxes, your ballista specs, and I don't think that many people really use ranged spec weapons anymore, right? Like only in PvP worlds, seen, to be honest. Yeah, but, I mean, like I was thinking about it too because they have that. That Laren's chest that came out pretty recently too, and that's just already dead. It's dead content on release. <laughs> Sadly, but, but I mean, like I tried, I did it, and I'm like, this is this is garbage. Like, what? yeah, <laughs> no one's gonna do this. So I was thinking, like, it'd be cool if they maybe maybe from LMS, maybe from that, add something that's like the not OP PVP stuff. Because I'm like VLS, I'm sure doesn't have a place in the game. Stadius Warhammer, as far as I'm aware, is like just a stronger Dragon Warhammer. So I mean. That thing actually I slams ass. It's it's quite scary. It hits hard, dude. That shit. Hits I've seen. Hard. I, f I feel like out of all the PvP weapons, like Morgan's javelins is the one that could actually fit into the yeah. game if it was balanced. Right. Dude, they could so easily give us Morgan javelins. They could effectively be like, right, Morgan javelins are either the same as dragon javelins, if not just a tier slightly higher, 
And the way that it's going to work is you can no longer throw them like you used to. It's You have to use it with a ballista. And obviously oh, my God. Actually, yeah, that's actually Jesus a really good idea. Christ, you guys are fucked. Uh, you want to add that to a ballista? No, I don't oh, think he's, like, saying, I don't think no, he's no. saying make a ballista strong. God, just, like, give it a better hit. spec. Oh, I, I'm, saying, I'm saying that if you have the Morgan Javelins equipped, when you do a spec with a ballista, it then does the recoil effect that it did in pre-OC. So if you hit a 40, it then does 20 damage in fives over time. I've oh, seen a guy hit a 75 with a ballista. Well, they could cap. They could, like, hard yeah, cap the, that, the that, damage, that, too. Yeah, no, it's because that, of the range fine. strength. That's the range it's strength. It's just, like, if yeah. they were to give us Morgan Javelins, like, the Javelins would have to follow the same rule in structure as the Javelins that we already have, which is you can't throw Javelins anymore. They're in the arrow slot, and you have to fire them with a ballista. Right? I would be so terrified. So you kind of have to follow that. I would be absolutely terrified if that would, existed. Well, <laughs> say, <laughs> say, say they matched it. the range strength that they're, in, they're <laughs> Dude, allowing. the ballista's fucked, man, all right? Even I mean, just throwing... I, I was using these Javelins, and I know you're not talking about the full strength, but I just 51 to dude, and then he bled for, like, six damage every, like, six ticks okay the guy got fucked up put that yeah. same shit in a ballista yeah. the uh, guy's I'm gonna just thinking, like i i know pking for a lot of people has been becoming like i don't know if stale is the right word like i know you and rachel you're both pkers but i mean like i i saw some other suggestions that might be good like maybe making the normal spell book a little better maybe making the god staves like auto cast the spell so you don't have to manually do it every time i don't just like little things like that i feel like might even be worth it enough yeah, people have been wanting the normal spellbook to be better for a while. I mean, Entangle <clears throat> PKing solo has got to be one of the most garbage things to ever try. Yeah, I feel so bad for watching people. Like, I, I'm a PVMer, and I want PKers to get, like, better stuff. Like, I don't care if I die in the wilderness. I go out there, I accept that risk, dude. I, I don't understand PVMers that don't. Like, they don't, don't go in the wilderness yeah. then. I mean, <laughs> It's like they're entitled to GP, and they don't want to earn it. And then when someone yep. attacks them, they're like, How dare you, sir? I am the one excuse for this wilderness, you fuck. And then they get real mad and call you the N-word. And, oh, I'm just know. doing a clue scroll. Don't <laughs> attack me. And then they have 50 mil or whatever. Like, I, don't I, know. I got a guy doing a clue for full <laughs> guffins, you know? I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. I just I feel like there's there's definitely a huge sense of entitlement there. Like I, I feel like the wilderness should have more stuff in it. Not like force PVMers out there, but because that obviously hasn't really worked, but I think yeah. revs is a really good balance. You know, you get like there's nothing that any account like has to get. There's no pets. It's not like best skilling, but it's good GP for the risk of getting attacked. I think that's the perfect balance for the world. Yeah, but revs. Yeah, is... mine, mine is the oh, yeah, revs is packed though. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's mine botted. Is the world, though, to be honest. Well, that's true. Yeah. It's I think honest. if they if they get the rewards right for this last band standing, dude, like that's so big for PvP. Yeah, like, that's gonna... so big, man. I it, I feel like that's just like they need to get the rewards down. If they get that down, people will definitely play it. I'm gonna cover the, the rewards for the podcast, fun. dude. I'm gonna cover them just because I don't think everyone knows about these yet. I mean, you've read about it, but to be honest, I'm yeah, saying yeah. some of this shit that I I don't even know what the fuck a bolus is, but you just talked about it. Um, so they're bringing in halos for other god wars, apparently. Saren Bandos. Brassica, what the flying fuck is a Brassica? Cabbage you... dog, cabbage god. We have a cabbage god in Runescape. Okay. Yeah, dude. <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> does that mean? Uh, XP rewards for the top five players in any competitive game. We'd like to offer XP. This would be nice, but then again, a lot of people complain that you can get XP so easily nowadays that they don't yeah, want it. Just... just get rid, of, get rid of Nightmare Zone. This would be a cool way to. As oh, long, that'd be, that'd be interesting. If I could train runecrafting and shit, I'd be down for this. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Dude. Uh, no? Uh, no? Games played one cosmetics. It'd be similar to the capes awarded for Chamber Xerix. We would yeah. like to... No, nobody really cares players. about that. Yeah, okay. No. Yeah. yeah. Nobody cares about capes. We already got cool capes anyways. Uh, Three-speed one-handed weapon like the event RPG, which is that big old wooden thing people use. So Obi Maulers might get another weapon. Well, they have the ham joint now, don't they? Yeah. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's three tick or not. I'm, I do. I'm not I don't keep up with this shit to be is. honest. Um, it is three tick, yeah. So they yeah. want to add a Guthic staff or a staff of balance. We already got the Sarah staff, which is the staff of light, and then the Zami staff, which is the staff of the dead. So they want to add one for the claw of Guthics. Uh, the Bolas, which is seventy range of will. This is the one uh, Rakesy hates. It binds yeah, around the player that. for ten seconds. Yeah, fuck that. It's range and tango. So fuck it's, it's that. a freeze. It's a freeze that it, can, it doesn't splash, but it can not hit. 
but like you just get rags. Like it's effectively given like a ragger, a barrage. That's what it is. Holy so fuck this, you. dude! This is horrible. No, yeah. they pulled they pulled that a while ago, didn't they? Back when they pulled rev weapons and everything, I think. Yeah, no. That's like I would rather have the Karasi than I oh, would God. that. No, fucking... don't even go there. No, I'm mean, deadly no serious. Way. I would I would rather have the Karasi in the game than I would the Bolas. What, what would like you do if they added the Karasi to um, LMS? <clears throat> How sick would that be? Holy yeah, shit! That, Honestly. I, it basically, I mean, if it wasn't as OP, it was pretty much like a Sara sword, except way too strong. Yeah, it was a Sara sword on steroids, dude. <laughs> if dude. they actually balance it right, it could be okay. But Bring it down. The no balance. Remember... No balance, dude. Two specs. Let's go. I love it. God. <laughs> I've seen that one spec, but you could bypass it with certain rings. and Yeah, it was the dungeoneering one, right? Yeah. So they want to add other cosmetics as well. So you can change your mystic robes to light, dark, and dusk, and you could get your range equipment to gilded, and your rune equipment to any of the gold and gilded variants. So they want to okay, so wait, so trim your armor. armor? Like they want thing. to trim your armor, apparently. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know about yeah. this one. I think that, in I general, never heard that before. That's crazy. Cosmetics are already overinflated because everyone loves doing clues. So I don't think we should make them in the game even yeah, yeah just they fucked it up with the clues crows man way too much cosmetic right. bullshit exactly way too much. uh and they want to add a negative xp lamp so negative 500 <sighs> xp uh from a combat stat below 50 this would be pretty cool to earn not even buy but just to earn because a lot of people fucked up their did defense they, yeah did they say like if that requires like a win or a certain amount of points or, or is it just like really vague these are just know. rewards so okay I'm guessing you collect points if you win a couple competitive or top five, and then overall you Dude. just start spending them. Do you uh, think? Do you think they're gonna add like a defense, like a like a hard defense requirement to like Venge and Barrow's gloves then if this comes out? Because like, if if not, people could just like eventually farm down to be like super. You low can only level. use uh, one of them apparently. Yeah. Oh, okay. That'd be hilarious. Yeah, okay. So that'd be I'm great. That'd be amazing. Well, they gotta make sure they do it right the first time. You know what? I could see good. Obi Maulers getting a climbing boot quest done and then slapping their attack oh, back yeah. down. That would be cool, right? That'd be one of the ideas. Other than that, I don't know. It's actually a big deal. Yeah, for that two strength. Don't you have the new boots? The manacles. Oh wait, no. No, is it not? Isn't those gloves or is it? No, the manacles. No, no, there's boots. There's manacles. Yeah, yeah. I don't oh, know yeah. if yeah. they can yeah. wear those. I'm not sure. Pretty sure they can. Those are for Pierce. One defense. So, well, then... <laughs> so there's no point. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you, hey, you don't have to risk them, though. Those are expensive as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, LMS so far, I think everyone's been <laughs> digging this new server. Even Skill Spanks and fucking uh, Sick Nerd has been loving it. Uh, most people on Twitter just going crazy. Do you guys have any things they should probably change to LMS right now? Uh, dra well, they already <clears throat> changing the dragon bolts, right? Because that shit's dumb. <laughs> so you get, I saw somebody get sixty aided. <laughs> yeah, the dragon bolts is dumb. Because oh, literally, you can be some dude that just only does range the whole time and get lucky. And I someone. did kill a guy with just range, no procs. He just died. I didn't do anything but range <laughs> him, and the guy was trying his hardest. Oh my god, it was amazing. Yeah. Uh Every time you put on your mystics for a barrage, <clears throat> Jambo just shits on you. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, yeah, oh, I, I think I, I think that's the only thing I change is the dragon bolts. Because no, it they is also like... they, they're, they're fixing the sage spots too. Because like some of the oh tree sage yeah spots oh are shit dumb. that's annoying yeah you're right yeah. they should they need to just fix that where you can attack people in corners and they can't attack you back it's god it's so tilted man that's like what tilted me out the other day when I played it so yeah. just people do it people like people have um first party clients yeah, where they, they know where to and it's so, so annoying. And they gotta be careful changing that, though, because if they change it too much, they're gonna screw with things like Inferno and stuff if they're not just they changing might, it for elements. They might screw up some of the safe spots, but... Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Well, they well, could just yeah, do it for last month's time. Yeah, right I mean, they've done plenty of, like, Wildy-only updates and stuff, too, so I'm sure they Yeah, they're testing it right now, apparently, for that stuff. But, um, I played it. It was pretty good. One, one of my favorite things about it so far is the fact that, um... You can start games fast, so if you die, you don't have to wait like 20 minutes, you just get in like pretty, f like within two minutes. Yeah. So it's great opportunity for people that want to learn PK without a cost. So I feel like that is already rewarding in itself. Obviously coupled with some good rankings, right mate? I heard people saying they should do it so that like, you know, some days it's like pure, pure setups. Yeah, they could switch it around, like right? That'd be really setups. cool. That'd be nice. I think yeah, Mod, I think that'd be cool. Mod yeah. Rock, or is it Mod Gambit? They were both working on it. Uh, tweeted that 
Yes, they have that idea in mind, but first they want to get the whole ground floor running before they start even twitching any of the things. But yeah, that should hopefully happen in the future. I mean, because, like, you have seven days, right? Like, how long does it take to get bored of just doing main fights? Dude, VLS on the pure, all right? Doesn't matter if you have prayer on. It doesn't matter, you know, anything. You just slap the shit out of somebody, dude. Yo, four specs. Boom, boom, boom. (laughs) They could legit do so much with last man standing. Like, an unbelievable amount. Like, they're really good. Are you worried, though, that it's going to, like, draw people away from the wilderness, though? Probably. The wilderness is already dead. I don't know why well, people... Yeah, I know, but I mean, like, the whole objective was to, like, make people want to PK, right? Like, yeah. To PK and gang, so, so they are. They are making... So I, PK I get, I get that a lot of people have this concern, yeah. like, oh, dude, they're going to take the PKers from the wilderness. No, they're already gone. There's, like, I, I'll go, I'll go <laughs> out, and there's nobody there in any of these spots. There's no PVMers. All they're doing is effectively saying, oh, you like PKing and you want to be skillful? Have some fucking fun go. here, dude. Can you I, know what I mean? Yeah. Can I ask you one then? What about the Crucible? Do you remember that? Oh, the Crucible of oh, Carnage. Uh, I never played it. I'm, I've never seen it. It was, seen it, it was like played. you would have to basically. It was like it was like the Wilderness, except there was no protect item. I think, <laughs> yeah. and you'd have to pay like a certain fee to get in, and you'd get a target like Bounty Hunter. And if the person left, you would get their fee. So like you or not? I mean, not the whole thing, or like it was like a portion. Is this of a it. private like, server? Or? <laughs> No, no, this was no, this was 2012, I think. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, I remember. before ELC. Okay. Yeah, so it was like if you would either kill someone and get their stuff, or they would leave and you'd get like a, an amount of GP that would at least cover your supplies and stuff for the fight. Yeah, that'd so, be cool. I, mean, I like, like that idea. I, I was, I think that'd be kind of interesting. I don't know. But I'm a down. PVMer, so maybe I'm yeah, like no, completely the, wrong here. I don't know. The problem with the wilderness is, I would say, it's very straightforward. It's just too big, and you can access it in every single world. That's so, true. So, like, even if you have a lot of people in the wilderness, it doesn't mean you're going to see them because it's so big. So. They're all the yeah. revs now, anyway. Whereas I mean. you have a system yeah. like Last One Standing where everybody just, you know, comes into one spot and then they just get loaded into an instance map. Then you don't have a choice, right? You're going to see everybody. Wilderness is a little different. It's a hit or miss. Some days you just, I'd be, like, encountering 10 characters in my clues pro, and then most days I encounter nobody, Right. There's just there's so many wilderness maps. Dude, I kill people while I do clue scrolls. Like I don't I don't see anybody. I'll just take people out yeah. when I see them, dude. I'll bring some gear. But <laughs> yeah, like, okay, this is kind of this is kind of radical, right? <clears throat> All right. So you know oh. you know how like instance mapping makes things like last minute standing pretty easy at gathering people. All right. So this is gonna be crazy. Oh yeah. I, I don't think it's a good idea necessarily, but. The only real way that I can see all these PKs in the wilderness converge into one single map. Like conveniently, is if you opt to when you enter the wilderness be loaded into one wilderness from any world. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, fuck that would like, be. That's interesting. That's interesting. <laughs> Are you saying like for everybody or like is it like a well, forced see, thing? That's where, like... that's where the controversial comes in. Imagine like, how yeah, many people at Green Dragons. There's just like 500 bots. Oh, just yeah, like I was gonna say yeah. Like... yeah. no, I'm yeah. saying so. If you want to opt into it, you can opt into it. But if you don't want to, you just go into the regular world. Thing. Wasn't that kind of what the BH world is, though? Yeah. Sort of. I mean, I like no, your idea, be, but... But the thing with BH world is it's all concentrated at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. yeah For Edgeville, some reason, it. like, clans... I'm not saying it's a good idea. I'm have, uh, have, like, a thing where they want to take over areas, right? They don't want to make the wilderness more active. They actually want to dry it out only for themselves. Oh. And it's... Yeah. Um, right? So see, if this idea was implemented... CCs, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the thing is... There's so many clans like this, right? And it, yeah, fuck it. You know, you're having some fun in the wild, but yeah. Well, sorry. So, what the fuck? Yeah. I was gonna say someone's gonna phone call, dude. I got it, I got it. So, so you can either make I'm it scared. optional or not optional, right? So I think a lot of people would want an optional where you don't go into the same map, you just go into the regular map, and then all the PKers that want to like actually find PKers to kill, they can opt into the same world. so They can find each other. But that's when you got baits and lures and stuff like that coming to the game. Yeah, but- yeah, but that's what makes the wilderness interesting, man. That yeah, could actually, yeah, that's quite a good idea. I, I kind of like I it, mean, to be honest. Because think about it, right? There's how many freaking wilderness worlds? That's and like how many bee cares, right? Yeah, it's, so let's say true. let's say you have 200 bee cares and there's 100 worlds. Guess what? You're only, on average, getting two bee cares a world. That's so shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because, like, how the hell are they ever going to find each other within, like, a reasonable amount of time, right? Like, because all I hear complaints a lot of times is, like, I can't find anybody. I hop 20 worlds. I can't find anybody. Well, they're probably also hopping 20 worlds, too. And you guys always miss each other because you guys are always too busy hopping around, you know? 
So you, unless you go okay, to the hotspots. You've seen that whole controversy recently yeah. about like the hidden unless attacked thing on Reddit though, right? Uh, yeah, I heard about it. It's like Sulu or something. Okay, so basically, like, you know, there's attack options, right? You know, like, left click, hidden, and then always right click, whatever. So, there's this big thing on Reddit, I don't know, it was like last week or something, where someone said they should add an option that's like, hidden unless attacked. Oh, I saw that. So, if somebody attacks you, yeah, I think it's really stupid, but, like, at the same time, I, I get why they want it, but... I, as someone like I at one point I was doing a series where I was trying to get 99 Slayer through only Wilderness Slayer, which was an awful idea in retrospect, by the way. But I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> but but like it was it was fun for a while. A lot of anti BKs, you know, you get some nice kills. Venonatus smited an HGS out of a guy that attacked me before. So that was pretty nice, you know. That's brilliant. But, That's sick. But like every time I would get attacked, especially in the rev caves, like any of the tasks in the rev caves, it's always like it's two people. They always try and skull trick you. Every time. So, like, for the people who are trying to anti-PK, I can kind of understand that frustration. But at the same time, I don't want to see that removed. I do think that, like, you know, the luring skull tricking, that's just part of the wilderness, too. You got to learn not, just not to fall for it. Yeah. Uh, yo, Racy, are you, are you, you're interested in the idea, right? Because, like, I could expand on it a little bit because I just thought of it up. Yeah, yeah. I think it's, right. dude, I think, so, yeah, it would definitely so be So, like, good. Let, can we agree and say that some PKers are only interested in killing people without gear? There's, you know, PVMers, people that are for money. There, right? And then there's some people like Mint that goes into, you know, the wilderness <laughs> looking for fights, like actual fights, yeah. right? I just look yes. for white dots. And... I feel like it's fundamentally quite different, right? I mean, maybe oh, there's, some you. <laughs> right? there's some crossover. Some people like to do a bit of both, right? But I'm not getting rid of that, right? So, like, let's say there's four instance wilderness worlds. I mean, like, maps where if people want to actually PK each other, they can all load into one of those four maps. Yeah. Right? So if you're specifically looking for a fight, you go into that wilderness map. You know, like, let's say there's well, there's one A, B, C, and D, right? There's, like, four or whatever. Let's just, because we can't do one because what happens if it gets too crowded or whatever? All right, maybe four, right? Or three, something like that. Something small to uh, help. Uh, cover some of the crazy population if it gets really popular. Right? I could only see if these yeah, worlds were worlds. active if there's like a bonus, though. You know what I mean? For being on that yeah. world. Like, oh, but then yo, at that you point, do... it's just the, but, it's but the that's same the as BH, right? Be there. You want to be there so you can PK. Yeah, but BH but no, has two it's not like rewards, but not a lot of rewards. You don't get assigned targets or anything. You just two. go to the oh, So you're saying just like BH with like the emblem X reward, except everyone could give that kind of thing? I was thinking like scaling rewards, too. You don't get targets. You find them yourself. You go around the wilderness as usual, except everybody's already opted in in that world to pk right because like why else would you go in there i mean not, to be honest like right? it's quite an interesting idea i like it but i think what would there's, probably there's happen obviously. yeah i i think what would happen is it would effectively be like a breeding ground for clan drive-bys where like every hour a clan would just log into that world tv all the kids that are there and clear it and do it every single hour well, i mean but the, the thing is there. the wilderness is huge though so even if you have a clan you can't clear out the entire wilderness yeah but then at the same time dude people will only pk at active spots like the reason those yeah. places are active spots is because there's a way to get away so there's like an escape or there's there's something there there's a reason why they're there you yeah. know like i don't think like that world would just like make people start pk in like random places that nobody's ever pk oh before. no i'm not talking about random places i'm just saying it makes it easier to find fights i like i like yeah. your idea right so what if we what if we did it's not an instance or whatever but we just say yeah, there's yeah. 10 riskier worlds in the wilderness uh, right okay. yeah yeah they so call them risky that. worlds right you still have your plus one yeah. and whatever but you know you kill a dragon you might get an extra bone uh you catch a chin you might get an extra chin you know if you're on the world you're getting something out of it, whether whether you're PKing, you're skilling, or you're, you're farming stuff. But there's only 10 yeah. of these worlds, so limited resources. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because because right now, activity. there's too many wilderness worlds and not enough people to yeah. go around them all. Yeah, right? It's there's a hardcore. Be... <laughs> yeah, I'm I, all right with this. <laughs> I, I hunt deep while we're trying to find hardcores all the time. <laughs> well, you better not kill me, dude. Come on. <laughs> Maybe one hell of a video, yeah, man. I don't know, I don't dude. Any of these ideas are going to be perfect, but... I think one of the biggest issues I've heard people say is just they can't find people. I was like, they don't want to spend 20 minutes finding people to fight. I think the world hop limit is honestly like the biggest 
that too. like restraint I mean, for people. I, I, yeah. I know that it's like it's a it's an engine work, whatever. Yeah. But like Dude, I, if they take that away, we're all fucked though. I mean, have you seen Scout Bots? Imagine if they don't oh, have yeah, one hopper. Yeah, you you're dead, too. dude. It's, yeah, so that's a good compromise, you know, make ten worlds that are like extra risky, you know, and extra rewarding. And then people I mean, it doesn't have to be ten, it could be like three or four or whatever, right? Just just however many logistically they find out is like the right balance between getting the right people in, right? To just PK and stuff. That'd be nice. And they, they have PJ timers, right? You know, or something yeah. like that, where you can work around it so clans don't just absolutely <clears throat> demolish everyone. And you might actually have an active wilderness in those worlds. That'd be that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, you can pitch the idea. I, I just kind of thought there's some yeah. potential. When, when we both win our golden gnomes, dude, we'll pitch that at the on stage. How about that? Yeah, we'll be holding some... hands and we'll just raise it up and we'll be like, we have oh, an idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, anyways, <clears throat> warding right. or last minute standing? All right, right, first off, yeah, any more warding. changes? I, I think we've oh, covered geez. last spot enough. One one so more thing about saying. LMS, dude. Okay, no one else is annoyed by that big box overlay, except me. Do you guys mm. not find it annoying oh. that there's a huge box on uh, your screen? Yo, okay. So this is like a newbie P- P- PVP thing that I had trouble with. A lot of times, people would be out of frame, so I had to like always rotate my fucking camera so I can like actually click on them. You know what I'm saying? Because people are like fidgety and they move all the yeah. goddamn place I'm like, oh, shit he's on the like left hand side i can't even click on this dude anymore i gotta like rotate my camera and then start clicking on them that's yeah. my issue not really the box i think the box is- dude i've had people hide behind the box though and i couldn't see what the fuck they were doing they'll hide behind a tree and they'll switch gears i'm like what the fuck is this man doing dude i can't see shit, oh, shit. yeah <laughs> personally yeah, i'm the no, only I'm guy rooting for this box to get put you know how like zaya had the overlay and they slapped it into the, the inventory or the diary yeah, yeah, area well, they can also put it in like the chat box too like maybe like, anything other than my top in. right hand screen oh, or my opponents dude. always are is where it annoys why not me. just make it movable dude that'd be great i'll put Move it that shit fucking away i've never yeah, used exactly. it it's just always in the way for me See? I was just moving next to my chat box or something. Well, they have like that minimized thing, like in the BH worlds, right? Why not just do that? Yeah, they can do a bunch of things. Well, the thing is, they won't come into the game if no one gives a shit. I'm, I like, feel like I'm the only one who gives a shit about this, and it feels I saw, weird. I saw a couple people talking I about. Like, took, I've never played I think it, but they I saw took your talk idea about. though. I think they, uh, I don't know, on Twitter or something. It's too big idea. of a fucking box, dude. Needs to die. Needs to fucking uh-huh. die. All right, that's all I had to say. That's it. We can move yeah. on to warding. Yeah. All right. Well, warding has caused a pretty crazy. Uh, just storm the past few days because um uh they they're still pushing it you know they have revamped it a bit which is good because there were some things you know that we last talked about especially some of the high level armors that were like insane magic like the dagon hide and like the dude like, i mean i'm not the, or the art the artwork on this post right here like yeah looks good i'm impressed man like that artwork there that's you can see it in the background, there, there, what's this, whatever stone is, and then the guy has the lantern, right? You see in the artwork, and he's making a yeah. dude like that's really fun. And this guy's just checking himself out, but I don't know. It actually looks like just the picture alone, man. This would probably get a yeah from me. <laughs> I would, I would buy this poster. I would buy this poster actually. Yeah. yeah um. Okay, so if you if you, you see those bow letters, oh, you clicked on already. Yeah, which one do you want me to click on here? <laughs> well, the, you know, we're just going in order, right? We're, we're just going in order. Sure. Dude. Let's just go in order. So click it about the but, core skill, so how you kind of right. train it. Yeah, so the idea for the core skills hasn't changed. The way um, you make the armor hasn't changed. You're going to be getting the resources by, like, this mem- uh, disassembling certain gear, like magic gear, I suppose. And then you're gonna use it on a hot spot. It's called like a warding spot. And then you're gonna combine the two to make the armor, right? The magic armor. And I'm assuming you're gonna be able to make more than just magic armor. Maybe some accessories, you know, some other stuff like that. So, so that principle of that is still the same, I believe. And then down here, oh, I, I, I think they further expanded on that. Optional so ways to that, gather material, yeah. pretty much. So instead yeah, so of now, there's other potential ways to get it. Man, it's kind of small though, man. What the heck? They gotta make this big. <laughs> Other ways to gain XP as cheap as possible. Why are people so cheap in this game, dude? GP is not hard to make. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Everyone's holding on to that shit so hard. Jesus Christ. Either way. Yeah. So some. So other ways is you can buy some of the resources through Grand Exchange. Makes sense, you know. So it's gonna be somewhat of a viable, right, to an extent. And um, yeah, that's that's what they're talking about. So just other ways you can do this. 
without the uh, the self gathering aspect of it, I guess. Minimizing the self gathering aspect. So it's not really like a Iron Man thing. You who can you, train like an Iron Man, or you can train it like. Who do you think they're the trying to sell, by the way, for this graph? I mean, it says player has no silk. Get silk from Hunter. Like, who are they making feel better? Like, that didn't know this information already. I'm just saying, like, I, I mean, can I, don't I not mind get silk other I ways? Think, like, <laughs> I think the big thing that myself and I saw some people like Thurko on Twitter yeah. saying the big thing that I want to see is somebody actually training. This yeah, like, not a great. chart, I'll not a graph. Like, I want to see someone doing it. Yeah, the like, only problem is that they don't want to create assets for it because. They yeah, I can. They could use placeholders, it. like you know, maybe use the primordial crystal enchant thing. You know, they have yeah, a lot yeah. of things like they could use. Yeah. Yeah. What they should do is just have someone uh, make a video, not using game coding, but just like creating models to make a video. You know what I'm saying? Not like within their stupid engine, because like there's video yeah. editors <laughs> that can actually make their own stuff and just you know in a video, right? But yeah, they they, they should hire someone for that instead. That would make it a lot easier. But uh, yeah, that's charts, that's pretty dude. straightforward. Um, they're just mainly selling armor. So if you go down here for a click, holy your fuck! Armor, look at all this silk, dude. Moonfly silk, yeah. savage. That's not a silk. Yeah, they're all just to make the you know different tiers of armor. A cold yeah, silk. <laughs> Sorry. Lost yeah, silk, so dude. you expand it on the armors, right? So like the armors this time around got major changes. They got right, rid here of we all go. The, like, Here's the armors, big boy. Yeah, they got rid of all the super OP stuff. You know, like the dragon hide stuff, the the poisonous one. Where if the you're Zora fighting one. poisonous, yeah, you get like a bajillion damage percent stronger than ancestral. It was like that stuff had to go. So they got rid of all those bonus effects, and now it's just focused more on defensive, prayer, or magic offensive, right? So this, so, what's this stand for, by the way? This. I think it's just a thing. Like it yeah. doesn't stand for anything. It's just a thing. It's got to be a thing, dude. Like what the well, fuck? I, it stands it, for air. It, you get free runes when you're using this shit. Is that how it works? I think you have to use the runes to get the vis. And then the vis turns into the... Then you use the vis for the skill. Okay, yeah. so that's how you like make production. it. So, so go like ahead. When, you're, when you're like casting spells, you can get vis, and then you use it. Yeah, yeah, skill. that's where the warding hotspot's for. Yeah. Like Do you, you think they named that. it vis because it sounds like this, so you can get vis and get the... Um, it's, it's because a, on, it's on our street. They, yes, they it's also already thing. use it, yeah. Because oh. I remember um, you can you can turn the runes into vis wax, vis wax. And that's exactly where they're inspired from, probably. That I hate yeah. it so much. I don't know why. I just hate that yeah, word. Yeah, but either way, the armor is way more balanced. It, there's no, like, gimmicky special effects aside from the Dameron's one. That one's kind of, like, it's probably de dead content anyways, I'll be honest with you, because Dameron's yeah, Scepter is pretty dead that? content. But you can stack it with the Dameron Scepter. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, the yeah. Thameron Scepter. The yeah. shittiest Scepter ever made. Yeah. The worst yeah, fucking so the thing. Yeah, so the Dameron set is 12% magic damage against uh, wilderness things with the scepter and 50% I'm going to have to make another so, one of these videos, maybe. dude. It's only <laughs> NPCs, though. That's kind of... that. I feel like yeah. if they made it against players, too, people would actually, like, use it. Oh, my God. it would. I would hate to it see another yeah, set... But I mean, like, uh -huh. Take over you'd be healing like Zerikin. But like you'd have set to, bonus. Like, it's like comparative to um like Tome of Fire casting now. Like that's it's really strong when it hits, but it's not. Yeah. Like, so you're saying they need like a fire rock. set to only use fire um surge and they just start slapping sixties, well, dude? Because I mean like yeah, they have they, they have do. you know like Tome of Fire and all that right now. You can hit can't you hit like a sixty with a it's like a Tome forty five. Is it? Okay. Well, I mean, like, with this and the Thamerons, whatever, whatever, they can make it only work with, like, god spells, or... And then someone have to risk not only the staff, but the whole four-piece set of armor. So even if they're not Skull, they're still risking something. Sure, they'd yeah. have a shit ton of switches, wouldn't they? Holy fuck. Oh, yeah. And they're <laughs> normal, so they're gonna have no inventory space already. <laughs> Worf, dude. This needs to be in. Oh, man. That'd be amazing. Yeah, they, they also added a new set, uh, the, uh... Astral? Oh, my God. They're my tour... What the Dorma fuck and flying set? fuck arena are you at, dude? Yeah. Uh, oh, right here. I got you. Got you. The set effect spell warp will add 2.4 seconds to cooldown time instead of 3 seconds <laughs> when passing a spell. It makes spells faster? Yeah. Is that illegal? Okay. Can you high elk? You're just sitting there just... That'd be sweet. Okay, so basically this set, when you're wearing it, will uh, make weapons, uh, magic spells, go from 5 ticks to 4 ticks, which is... Going from uh, like a rune crossbow to a whip speed. 
That'd be really it's, cool to play with in the wild. That's weird. But I it's really so weak, try. though. It's got, like, no this offense. This set effect will only apply to combat spells, but not apply to any spells from Ancient Spellblade. Yeah, that's fair, because I don't want people spamming Ice Barrage. Oh, God, yeah. That's the only reason I would do it. Fuck. <laughs> like, so, you even hit the accuracy bonuses on it. It's, like, plus four. Only combat spells, though? You couldn't use this for, like, enchanting rings of dueling or something? Nah, That'd be really cool. combat. That'd be badass. They need one for that. <laughs> I mean, it's not overpowered, though. That's good, because, you know, they, they balanced it out by giving it really bad stats. <laughs> <laughs> but essentially, um, if you're fighting someone that's wearing melee armor, it wouldn't really matter as much, because then you're just going to spam fire surge or whatever on them, I guess. That that could be... All right, wait a minute. Does this have weaker stats than wizard robes? Nah, dude. I think they were 10. really scared to add stats to this. Let me see this wizard robe. I mean, if they want, they can add like an extra ten on on like the body. I mean, or something. The torso oh. literally has one higher mage attack bonus than a wizard robe. Oh. Yeah, they should that's make it like that's awful. <laughs> I mean, what do you think? Make it like mystic stats? Does it have a defense it requirement? Right, it does, huh? Uh, where does it? Does Fifty it have warding. One? Um, I don't, I don't know. What this is if it doesn't have a defense stat, then no, it's fine. Okay, there. so I guess, yeah, if it's a pure armor, that's all right. Yeah, if it's a pure armor, that's just cool. Yeah, that's a that's like a straight upgrade for pure, yeah, yeah. essentially. And they should just straight add this pure. bonus onto, like, a main defense armor, too, just to have both. Oh, crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then there might be some, you know, uh, can of worms we might be opening over there. But yeah. <laughs> every skiller that's watching, that, let me every... tell you what, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Other than that, all the other magic sets are more like it's either you get a lot of prayer and nothing else, or you get a lot of like magic, or you get and you get no defense. So they're not messing with any special abilities; they're just manipulating the actual stats of the dude. Soulbark's kind of tanky, dude. Oh, yeah, man. yeah. Soulbark is like you got rune armor defense, but the magic accuracy of it is like mystic. That's kind of fire. Point. That's kind of fire. What about, yeah. Okay, as as a PKer, I guess Racy and Mint. What do you guys think about Dagon High coming back in the game? Because that's on here. Like I know a lot of PKers, especially yeah. are, like Where really is that passionate. On the list? I mean, uh, it was it was basically just like Mystic, oh, though, here. wasn't it? Yeah, but people were like obsessed with the the look. The of look. It. And the look looked really yeah. cool. I never used it back in the day. Oh, I would, wow. I was shit. So it's slightly worse than Ancestral Dog. No, no percent damage. Yeah. But yeah. the accuracy and it has prayer bonus though. It's got prayer bonus. Um, plus to each uh, item, and the accuracy is basically Ancestral. Remember, all is this is gonna be made though. Way, it's really? not gonna be that hard to get. Yeah, it's thirty-two for the. It's not mystics, bro. They're like Wait, scaling it between it's... Arams and ancestral dog. Um, I think that. Arams is gonna take a big hit wow. on the price though, man. If they don't make the Dagon hides rare enough, yeah, um, honestly, uh, Arams is gonna take 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 a big hit on the price. I feel like it's not gonna be rare at all though, huh? For a skillable. Well, is it going to be like you have to have the level to equip it? Like you have to have the warding level to wear it or just to make it? Just to make it. Just to make it. Because if it's yeah. just to make it, then yeah, that, it's going to be super cheap. One person trains the skill and then suddenly everyone can have it. Just like yeah, it really, yeah. It yeah. really just depends on how hard it is to gather the, the material. So It yeah, says so, you need 65 warding to make the dragon hunt. Yeah, it's not much. That, that, yeah, uh, that, well, I, I don't know. know. We don't know how fast it is to train. Material but... cost is chaos silk. So... How do you exactly get chaos? You have to chaos silk moth lantern trap, um, ton of chaos chaos silk level sixty five. So is it? So you have to hunt the monsters. Okay. Yeah. This is so weird. Yeah, it's just so. Where would you kill? So you have to catch chaos silk moth. Yeah, it's like the KQ. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure. yeah, it says it's it says it's only level sixty hunter too. So sixty hunter, sixty five warding. I mean, for armor that's going, even if it's like half the price of Arams right now, Arams like two mil total for top and bottom, right, or yeah. something like that. So they gotta make that rare, dude. It that's... looks like they're kind of <laughs> locking on to the whole uh, imbued rings with warding thing too. Like they really. Yeah. Want that. What do you think about that? It's like a pure mostly. Like how does that? I don't know. I don't. I don't even think Pure should have fucking imbued rings at the way that you can hit like thirty-seven, thirty-seven with. Uh, I think it's uh, all the max bonus on a Pure right now with a DDS, and that's just kind of insane. I don't think it's a yeah. necessity, but um, I don't know, dude. Uh, at the very least, it's not as controversial as the last time I looked at it. That's for sure. It looks pretty fair in most. This is other than more conservative than what it was before. 
which well, is I thought the big thing is that at the top in the change line, they they removed those battle wards. You remember those? They were yeah, like those were crazy. That was so broken. Dude, I'm like, oh, that's, I love I'm like, those, man. Those were cool. Were so, it was like, oh yes, yeah, suctions all your things into one place. You can just barrage them all. Like Fuck imagine yes. that in, <laughs> but imagine that as like as a PVMer in Theater of Blood and then Nilo's room, the one with all the little spiders that come in the oh, middle. Like that'd be so broken. That'd be like, so good, dude. Oh, the yeah, best. that's the thing. Yeah, it's so good because it's so broken. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> feels bad. Yeah, nah. I'm glad they got rid of those. Those were insane. Honestly, they have a uh, scaling rings, dude. That's got ring of bone, a gold bar plus a fish bone, double chance to receive fish. Okay. <laughs> I mean, right. ooh, big deal. Uh, these okay. rings actually—I like these rings. This is like unique content. This actually yeah. seems. I, how do you guys feel about it? It's like Skitter. Uh, let Skitter me look at. Day. Let me look at the actual. It looks pretty style. cool. Are they? I kind of like the look of this. So the ring of the ring of wood. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's to receive double. Immediately grants you wood. <laughs> I like that. That's cool, man. Like, I don't think that's too OP. It's a ring for awesome. your wood. Here's right, the deal. Kind of Here's the deal breaker. It's about the percent. So it depends on how yeah. much chances uh, it's gonna proc it. And does it deteriorate deteriorate after time too? Or um, I, I mean, we have all these should be deteriorating over time because if you don't, then it's insane. Cause like you just make it one time and then it's perm. Like that'd be right. Insane. I mean, so we I'm have like we have the the core end. Uh, diary that gives you like the increased percent chance for double fish or whatever so and that isn't broken in my opinion so i, I really don't see that this dude. is and then you got the things. ring of fish on yeah all of a sudden, but it's a fuck small yeah, percentage dude. is it not i have no idea. uh it's the elite diary goes up to eight percent i think it goes two four six yeah, eight exactly it's really bad so if they I think also think eight percent i think eight percent is pretty good <laughs> no i'm saying i'm saying like in terms of you know them making it like from 80 percent to like oh you know, yeah, any yeah. Number, right it's good that they're making it lower than temperature. They're going to be coming more elemental tomes, by the way. Ooh. Okay. okay. Do they yeah, give a like percent bonus do. like fire tomes, though? Oh, I wonder if like ice and a water tome <laughs> for ice barrage. Oh, dude. That'd be kind of cool. Wait, so it's saying you can make burnt pages then, too, with this? Yeah. Level uh -huh. 80. Yeah, for, uh, for the... Yeah, but, hard. yo, ro uh, mint. Ice barrage wouldn't work with the ice uh, with the water one because, like, you would assume then that the the current term of fire we have would work with um like blood barrage. What is Sorry. blood barrage and no, fire? Blood barrage isn't fire. It's not fire. <laughs> He's like it's red. <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> okay, okay, but, like, <laughs> but at the same time, yeah, I see. If it, if I don't it, know if it'd work. I'm just saying broken. it'd be oh, cool, yeah, no, right? What if what if it, there was a bonus? If it, if, it did, if it did work, that'd be awesome. But I don't know if they'd let it. Nah, yeah, probably not. Really that'd be OP, dude. I would say this should support the basic spell book because, like you said, basic spell book is not that useful, right? Yeah, yeah. for PKing. So, yeah, but there'd be no point in using any other term other than fire. I'd imagine. Yeah, true, true. But something either way, that, something that could make this and the normal spell book good is if they made this book, the the one that we currently have, the fire tome. If that worked with like flames of Zami or god spells and uh, increased the damage you know, on that, question, that would be good. Uh, question: This yes. is a wild one. What if you make something that if you wear it, you can extend like your entangle or something? And you can make it like stronger. Dude, just one minute in tangles. I'm down. Dude. Oh my god, no, Jesus. 30 oh. seconds max, dude. Come 30 on. seconds. Think... Fuck yes, dude. Holy well, shit. That's yeah. what I was saying earlier, you know, with the, the Laren's keys. I, well, it'd be cool. They could do that with Laren's keys too, where it's like, you know, like they have deck scroll and, and arcane scroll. Just do like a scroll that makes your entangle persist through the magic prayer or something like that. So it's like. God, I have such a hard on right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. Guys, my, my internet just like fluttered, by the way. So if I just psh, psh, I'm gone, <laughs> yeah, you get like adopted by Air okay. One. I got you. Something's going on. Just a heads <laughs> He's up. trying to make an escape route. Look at him. <laughs> my lights just like flicker well, on. Yeah, they could do something like that, well. right? An item that just makes that that just supports the basic spell book and make it stronger. Ten minute that way block. Also carry a risk. So if you kill someone that's trying to, you know, sweat out some uh, okay, basic spell book thing. You know, if you well, kill about, them, you get like, that drop. Or I like to add it onto the Laren's key as well, because I got like yeah, 93 of those, so I'm down. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm waiting. I mean, I honestly, I don't think that'd be OP at all. Everyone's constantly been saying buff the normal book. And besides, you still yeah. have to have a stupid amount of inventory used to use the normal spell book anyway. Yeah, exactly. So it's not like you're going like, to... Most of the time, I don't see yeah, that being... No, I, I think it's fair play. If, if anyone entangles you, just attack back and you'll win the fight. That's all I'm saying. Because they have <laughs> yeah, no food. Entangle's not worth it, dude. 
there was a there was that thing from the last warding blog or whatever that was like a slightly increased rune pouch for the wilderness or something like that. Ooh, that'd be insane. I, that's a, it's a weird one because like if that's you're a PVMer and it and it only works in the wilderness, you don't care. You don't need the runes. Personally, a bigger player, rune pouch in the wild makes a ton of sense, though. I mean, why would a rune no, pouch yeah, only I hold agree. three items, right? It shouldn't be like, you know, your whole inventory set. If you risk a rune pouch, you should slap everything in the rune pouch because it's already a risk yeah. itself having it. So that'd be sick. I think I think that, like, I, I understand the difference between the ancient and the normal spellbook. Like, the, the trade-off right now is the normal spellbook is, is weaker. You know, like, the ancients, you do a lot of damage, but you don't have TB. So I don't want it to be so overpowered that like the normal spellbook can do just as much damage, just as long a freeze time, and have TB. No, right. definitely not. Um, yeah, that, 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 that defeats the purpose. Ground. I believe there's middle ground. Yeah. For sure, that they can reach with some new add-ons. So obviously, if you still want pure DPS and freezes, then you still go ancient. Oh, they talk about it a little further down in the blog, but this isn't exactly what I remember the rune pouch thing being. Um, yeah, large rune pouch. This isn't wildy only, but like requires 80, oh, nice. 83 warding to make. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Cool. Yeah, this has a lot of. I don't. I don't. Why? Why is the biggest reason people hate on warding? Is it because it's not RuneScape? It's because it's fun yeah, to it's hate. Because it's a skill. <laughs> they don't want a new skill. A lot of people just don't want a new skill. Have want. you seen yeah. how many people will follow, like? either content creators or somebody with just a little bit of influence instead of their own opinion all the time. It's, mm -hmm. it's bad though. Like I, I'm, I don't honestly say anything about warding on Twitter because I don't want to get roasted by everybody. But like, uh, well, mm. uh, yeah, you want to pop up a few tweets about some of the, Yo, men, <laughs> yeah. hold up a sec. Before we go down that route, have you ever thought why people do that? Why do people jump to like somebody that they trust in their opinion? instead of reading the entire post of themselves. Because I can tell you right now, it's because if you were to sit here for an average casual player to sit here and read this entire fucking post about warding, not being funny, I don't believe they do it. Like, they I, pl I play the game every day, and I make videos on the game. I don't read these posts. These are too fucking long, dude. This is way too much information for me to be able to take it all in and be like, yeah, that sounds like it would fit in the game when there's like 10 fucking pages and they it's all like about a... different stuff. Like, that's why people go to people. Like, for, yeah, for yeah, example, sure, like, sure. Bodhi, yeah, we know that. Yeah, people we know go that. to him because he actually reads everything. No, they I get what you're saying. I, I, video about it, though. What, what I'm trying to say is I think that the way that they're, like, getting this across the community, it's just too much, dude. Like, I don't think this should be polled like this. I think the actual way this is being pulled is wrong because it's way too much information for anybody yeah. to really take in. That's that's yeah. fair. I'll be honest with you, nine like ninety nine percent bullshit statistics, but it makes sense. Ninety nine percent of players aren't gonna read this. Shit. So, in general, though, yeah. most of those guys wouldn't even have an opinion. Though they they don't go out of their way to read it. Of course, you're right there, but they would never have an opinion unless someone told them what to think. Right, they're yeah, always looking sense. for people to sway them. Right? Like, oh, why should I like this? Man. Why should I like that? Like, I have people I in my chat who know about that. something and they'll know what everything is. Right? Like the G Maw nerf. Right? People will know about the G Maw nerf. They'll be like, "Oh, dude, yeah, I know why this is happening or why I don't want it in." Then they'll ask you for your opinion. Like, "Oh, what should I think?" You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's a it's a question of how much balancing in your you know rationale rationalizing you want for as an individual. Like, how much of it should an individual be responsible for themselves, and how much of it should be influenced by other people, right? Well, it feels so, like the people don't really have an influence. It's just like a couple top dudes who always speak their opinion, no matter what, even if it's right or wrong, and then they just get followed, right? It doesn't yeah. seem like it's I mean, an actual opinion. It just seems like I don't, a couple people talk. And everyone I don't want to be that guy either, but I think that old school has kind of advanced past the point where polling serious things like this is. Yeah, no, you, it won't work. Even it if just... you hide the poll results, it's not gonna. Yeah, they yeah, can put it's... so much time in something and make it feel real old school. It old school is e. It's like I, yeah. I, it's a it's a cute concept, you know, like the players run the game, but at the same time, they're a company, and a lot of the players that play this game don't want the company to like. A lot of the players buy gold; they can't yeah. even make money in Runescape. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like you don't yeah. see any other big MMOs like pulling their community constantly. Like, hey, what do and, you guys and, think and, about um, this? So there's these two dynamics, right? There's people that will vote for things that they want because it'll benefit them, and then there's people that will pull for things 
because they think it'll help the game survive longer. And there's grow. people who just vote no because yeah. they want to. <laughs> They're like, oh. Well, yeah, yeah, that's part of the selfish no. reasons, right? There's yeah. there's people that vote for selfish reasons that benefit themselves, whether it's like it satisfies them because they think they're trolling or it satisfies them because it thinks it provides utility for them in their actual gameplay. And then there's the people that are like, you know, I want this game to live. I want to make sure, you know, it survives as long as possible. So I will vote only in that interest, right? And then there's so, those so people on problem. Twitter that have Korean avatars and only yeah. skill. And then uh, they talk yeah, about yeah, everything. And, and those are the people that vote mostly for themselves, right? They they're, want, they're very they conservative their, about the game. Yeah. They want to keep their high scores and stuff. God, it's so, whatever, right? it's so difficult, man. But yeah. like, I, I honestly, when it comes down to it, I think like if Jagex are coming out with an idea which is like really good and they believe in it, they put a lot of work into it, it fits into the game. Yeah. Like I personally, I, I'm gonna say this: I have no problem with them implementing anything into the game. I, I honestly don't. Like if they were to just say "fuck you guys," we're putting Warden in the game, right? I wouldn't have a problem with that. Well, with the but way I that it like... currently is, I wouldn't. Oh, I'd be okay. But the way it currently, yeah. I'd be okay. But uh, something but, that I would like to add on that is if they were to make it so they had like a policy where if they did put something into the game and like, I don't know how many percent of people, but a certain amount of people said like, this is awful, it needs to be removed. Like they could actually do that. Like, because I, like I, I think same, that, though. But no, like, no, because I think that like people will say no to things because they can't experience it. And, like, if they actually have the chance to experience it, they might be like, oh, actually, this isn't like I thought it was going to be at all. This is pretty good. So you we're know? going back to that yeah. idea where Beta Worlds would have these new updates. Yeah, I feel like well, that's what Beta Worlds I mean, be Beta, Beta Worlds would be problem, awesome. Because right. I think we though, talked about like, that before. and it Nobody's like going to want to go train wording on a Beta World. But if they put it in the live game, people but will train. I, they I'll would, tell you who you, will. I'll tell you who will. Consecrators will. And they will spend yeah. more. <laughs> okay, yeah, true. But you, you've seen how nerdy these guys are, though, right? You've seen the nerdiness levels where they're going to train a skill and they're going to make a fucking whole library of, like, ways to train this as fast as possible while lactating. You know, they're just... They're these yeah. type yeah, of people. I'll be honest with you. Con yeah, they'll they'll play the shit out of on it. RuneScape Consecrators, bro, they're so thirsty for anything different, right? That if there is a beta, these guys will... Dude, LMS will on a I'm YouTube sub box. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, I was saying I'm not yeah, so well, I'm, like, yeah. I'm surprised that not every single content creator is saying yes just because they get at least a couple of videos about this. Like, I don't know. I well, personally... genuinely, I feel like they definitely need some sort of model, like something visible, visible, something tangible. It's either visible that like you can show someone doing it, or or tangible you can have people doing, it. like and actually like seeing. Because right now it's all theoretics. You're only seeing words. You're only seeing some pictures. So. It's hard. It's hard to convince someone with just paragraphs because people don't like reading. It seems yeah, like I they're going the right direction, this. though. Like they released yeah. LMS and beta, right? Sure. Dude, so, I just yeah. thought I just thought of a genius idea that would get Jagex's stuff to pass more often. If they had like a, what's it called? Is it called like Audible or something where it just reads the thing out for you? <laughs> like I know that sounds really stupid and lazy, but I swear right. to God, if you could actually have that on their website, it probably would change. If they got, if they got like my my D or my G dude. to read it, dude, everyone would be listening. Right, <laughs> right. So you know those like uh, posts that randomly pop up when you're playing RuneScape? It's like, oh, go check out the dev blog or oh, a Q and A. What if it was just yeah. like a voice? So, uh, warding is... <laughs> you're just like, what the oh fuck? God. No, you have all the airplane, like, like you're in the airport, like... It was just all of a sudden talking on, about it in your ear. Warning cool. No warning, no, no, just no, like, no, you no, just no, play it, no, all of yeah, a sudden the guy's talking about warning. Dude, dude uh -huh. seriously, yeah, even if it was an in-game option where it was like, you could right-click something or toggle it to, like, read the newest, ha well, have the newest post read to you. Like, that'd be awesome. Who do you think would have the best voice? On the J yeah. uh, JMod staff, it would, it would be God Ash, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. any of them would be fine. Yeah. Male and a female like... option for those lusty boys, dude, would probably work. But I go for Ash. You were just talking about the K-pop AVS. Come on, you get Mod Yi to read it. Everyone cares about the skill, then. You... All right. Oh, dude, you're good. I think I, I've just created a job for myself, man. I might pitch this to Jagex and be yeah, like, dude, I yeah, want to be the, the one who reads it. Right. Issue, I think. <laughs> You know what? I think we've discovered something. It's like, why is his voice mispronouncing all these words? <laughs> like, like, who are we? Got three yeah, yeah. updates okay, today. So <laughs> what you're saying is, if uh, more people read this, then the chance of it passing at this point is better, right? So we need to find a way to incentivize people to actually read these 
or I think, things. dude, what I just said is like a good solution. Like, if they actually had something in game which was like read the newest blog post, or sorry, like you know what I mean, read it as in like read it, go for yeah, listen to the yeah yeah. God, I'm fucking up. I'm tired. Yeah, which but, like, I, I think that would help. That'd be sweet. I like yeah, it. I like that idea. Narrated by Mod Ash. Or Seriously, like, I think uh, I, I think that would honestly, it would probably work. But then they'd be like, "Well, we need to do engine work to be able to get that in game." You guys, how do they read the tables out though? That's the. <laughs> but mean, there's it's... way there, there's ways around that. So like, yeah, yeah. say for example, you could like click something in game that then opened up another tab to the RuneScape website. And then it went through there. Like, I'm sure that would actually be a lot easier. Like, this could be done. And for me, like, I, I can't think of any news I'd rather listen to the RuneScape news. Yeah, you know so what, I mean? what, what is blatantly obvious at this point is that we have come to understand that people don't want to read no suggestion about anything. <laughs> so I don't know if I've I'm shared sure this idea, 1%. but I have this idea, man, where you know how some of the servers are bad, right? But they never tell us which ones or what's having ping <laughs> problems, and they just they dress up Mod Ash every week, and they he just talks about it like it's the weather. You know, we got the three hundreds here looking pretty good, but if you go to the five oh fours, you're gonna get fucked with lag. Bond prices yeah, are up to I two mil now. You know, yeah, you just risk. talk about updates. That'd be sweet. You know, like a nice five minute TV just news show. Just throwing their company under the bus, man. Oh yeah, our servers are awful today. We're Don't getting hit by Indian much. hackers over man, here man, in the man, West man, Province. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yo, Min, I think you just thought of like a viral video that somebody. Yeah, someone's made. gonna do that now. If you, you want to make it, Rixie. Like, yeah, I'm thinking in my head, how could I make that? Because that sounds All great. Right. That could be like Please a weekly that, news. Yeah. We'll just take another yeah, raid uh, sponsor, so I can fly over there, dude, and then we'll make the video. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get a green screen and everything, man. I, I'd yeah. watch that. That actually sounds like a pretty good idea, man. All it right. does. That sounds funny, man. Rune news. Like, genuinely sounds good. It does. I remember Alfie tried to do something, but it was so budget. <laughs> well, everyone yeah. everyone does their their update videos every week, you know, like. Oh, uh, not me. Mm, I ain't okay, no well, thing. not anymore. But you know, like DDS used to do them. You know, JK Soros used to do them. Literally uh, everybody soup, wanted. Yeah, them. like everybody, because it was a free video. You know, in RS community, it's hard to get. You know free what? Content. I, you know I feel what? it. I, I don't go down that rabbit hole, man. <laughs> no, that's fair. But I, I mean, I'm like, doing you know, it. I'm doing it, guys. I have a green it. screen this Saturday. I'm making it's happening. I'm gonna wear my suit. Rakes, you want to fill in? You want to be one of the broadcasters on the vid, dude? I, I'll be. I'm down. All Wait, right. did you say on the weekend? This weekend, I, I won't be able to do the weekend. No, nah, weekend. I'm saying I'm uploading on the weekend. One of these days, I'm gonna if I have some. Okay. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, maybe tomorrow, dude, huh? Dude, a hundred percent. Like I'd be so. Fucking you get your down. suit on. I get my suit on. There we go, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I, I, I genuinely would be down to make a stupid video like that. That'd be whoa, crazy. whoa, stupid! What the fuck? <laughs> well, that's it, it. Would be stupid, it's but it'd be good. You mean the best video ever, dude? All right. There That's we go. Front page Reddit right front there, page, dude. Easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. We got Sick Nerd on on the screen there with his Twitter post. Yeah, we got some okay, tweets from content creators one. about warding. Um, yeah, he likes it so far. He doesn't I don't think, think it's, it's as bad as everyone is saying it is. Honestly, I think it's a lot more toned back since last time. Did you know they called Sick Nerd Load Man, by the way? That's fucked up. <laughs> I, was, I was like, who's Load Man? They're like, Sick Nerd. Yeah, I just, embrace the meme now, dog. I, I know. I felt bad. I'm like, hey, bro, that's my dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of on the same uh, wavelength for the most part. Like, let's see, I'm very indifferent. If it passes, which is not going to pass. Moment. But if it passes, I don't care. If it doesn't pass, I don't really care. But I know really? they're gonna try to push it for next two years. You know, Lots if it doesn't hysteria. come out this year, let me tell you, it's probably gonna be pushed until like, like two years. From yeah, I talked to some other content creators. Just like you know, you hang out in live streams, whatever. I've noticed that a lot of content creators. I don't mean to to not lash and I'm not targeting anybody. But just saying, like a lot of people seem like they aren't as passionate about the game, like in terms of like the new things coming into the game as they used to be, like kind of indifferent if like this passes the poll or doesn't pass the poll i don't really care i'll do it anyway if it does you know i've noticed a lot more people have been gravitating towards that kind of yeah no but see, i'm lately. not saying that because i don't give a shit necessarily i'm saying that because i think it's okay this is fine because yeah. if you were to ask me if i wanted warding like three months ago what the way it was i would have flout said no that's it that would have been it i don't want it because those new those armors back then was bullshit OP. yeah those are strong yeah i was like hell no but this one i i looked at it we looked at it pretty in depth and i mean the most controversial one we got is like that freaking four magic bonus uh you know <laughs> five take to four take you yeah, know i gotta i gotta go thing. for a I'm second like, here sorry one second i'm like okay <laughs> like 
sure there's probably some gimmicks some people can use maybe definitely not being I, I mean so i not. feel like yeah i personally i don't care either way like i'll yeah. probably vote yes on the poll just because uh, i don't I know yeah, I said that in the video. Great, everyone's gonna witch hunt me now. Is <laughs> like, you should have said it. I didn't say like I'll, I will probably vote yes, but like I don't talk about my personal opinion too much on my YouTube channel and stuff specifically. Like I'll talk about that stuff on stream, but like I like to what you were saying earlier, Racy. I don't like when content creators like throw their weight around like that. Like yeah. I feel like it's it's much better for like yeah, you can explain what it is, maybe say what you like about it and what you don't like about it, but don't say explicitly like. I'm voting yes, I'm voting no, because some people are sheep. I'm sorry. Like, I, no. I hate to say that, but yeah, some no, people It always... comes at a cost. <clears throat> Listening to other people's opinions comes at a cost. You become a sheep. So Yeah, people will always listen to big content creators, it, because, like, there's that level of, of trust there, you know? Like, if someone yeah, has, yeah. like, 100,000 subscribers do. or whatever, you're going to yeah, be like, I'll oh, for that. They're they're trustworthy, you know. People yeah. people will think that, and you can kind of like I get why it makes yeah. sense. Yeah, don't take it the wrong way, man. Everybody's a sheep. I'm a sheep too, dude. Because like if oh, I yeah. listen I, to like, someone that I respect opinion, it's gonna oh uh, yeah you know, somehow one way or another it's gonna get back to me, and I'm gonna be like I agree somehow. Like I, I won't even realize yeah, yeah. that I'm falling for it. But yeah, I, no, that's fair. Like I, I'm not yeah. trying to say that like oh everyone should change, but like I just like when content creators like I like when they encourage people to to look at a poll. On their own like they explain what it is maybe like people hate me for that <laughs> <laughs> honestly they hate they hate me for for telling them to be critical for themselves you know if they just know. want it you know they just want you to tell them yeah it's easier, yeah. everything it's easier to have someone else tell you yeah and i like, hate that think. i don't want i don't want to be like for you, you know? especially I, I think that, like, I know that I, I don't really stream anymore, but I used to get that a lot. And I'm sure because you two stream, you get it all the time. So you're, like, really annoyed with people always asking, like, the same question over and over again. But, like, I'm saying I don't think that would happen if the way that Jagex put these updates out was in more of, like, a – it was just an easier way to, like, obtain Podcast that knowledge. Audible. Yeah, like, like I said, if it was an audible thing, I don't think it would be as bad. And I don't think yeah, that, because sure. like at this point, the people that come into your streams and say, hey, what do you think of this update? And should I vote yes? They're asking you because they've not taken the fucking two like minutes to actually read it. They're just like coming to you because they're like, I have confidence in what you have to say, which there's nothing really wrong with that. But you're yeah. right. It would be so much better if they could come to that conclusion on their own by Jagex doing something, which just allows them to have the information <laughs> in a way easier, like a more simplified version than instead of having to read it because I, I think, think reading like nowadays reading's more of like it's a niche almost right yeah, like you people don't read yeah. much. feel you gotta feel like you're an intellectual do you want to yeah what if, what if they did like at the you know they have their q a streams every wednesday right and there's always the the dev blog on thursday what if they move the q a's to thursday and then just at the end of the q a they just like read off the dev blog popped up the tables on the screen like well they, they need people about. that are professional yeah, at reading. i think that'd be a that'd be a good start for sure yeah, oh they bro. should get david attenborough man they should have <laughs> yeah, dude <laughs> they need to hire someone that is professional at reading these type of information yeah. logs, right because there's a there's a professionality around it you can't just have someone just be like reading you know what i mean you need someone yeah. that actually understands how to properly read information and that's you know disseminated yes. over. He's someone who yeah. has no idea what they're talking about. So there's no bias in their voice whatsoever. Yeah, it's just, just yeah, it's just like you need a person that's just done this. You know, he's done all types of those type of infomercial readings or whatever. Yeah, hire someone to do that, and it's boom, perfect. There you go. Yeah, I, I think that genuinely would um be a, like a good step in the right direction if something yeah. like that were to happen. Honestly. Because at this point, I don't think it matters how many times they change wording and they change the post. I think that nobody's yeah. ever going to read the entire thing. Yeah. So yeah. like, it's kind of just like a waste of time for everybody, really, isn't it? it is like, I know I, we we just went into depth yeah. and detail with it, but we didn't read every single thing on that post. And it's like I we're think, doing a we're doing a podcast right now. We didn't even read the whole thing. I think that yeah. like a lot of it is is the wording that a lot of players use when talking about it. You know, like it's subtle, but it's there. Like when people say. Like, I don't know, Ryu said it earlier, and I, I don't think this was your intention, but, yeah. like, when, when you say, like, Jagex is pushing this update, you know, like, I don't... They are. <laughs> like, I, I think it's fine. I think it's fine for them to be like, hey, we yeah. spent a lot of time on this. Look at it. And it's it would be nice for the community to at least give them, you know, 
the time to, to read it. Like, you know, for us, yeah, it takes 20, 30 minutes to read through it. And yeah, I think that's a long time. Not everybody yeah, has that. Time. But they're spending hundreds of hours, like, developing this content and coming up with these ideas. Yeah. Like, and you think to see that wasted, you, man. You yeah, think at the very yeah, least what they would do is sure. make it, like... I, God, I fucking suck at words right now. I, I wish they just made it, like, easier to absorb that information. Yeah. Instead of having to go through the tedious grind of reading for 30 minutes. Because 30 minutes is a long time, and people yeah. don't like to read, dude. Like, yeah. people don't read. Reading is, like, a very specific thing nowadays. Yeah, where it's yeah, like, yeah. not many people actually do it as, like, a pastime. Did they yeah, have like a 52 page warning? Information way easier. They did, but it was like small, you know, pages like. 52 YouTube. pages. Though, I mean. Yeah, I, I didn't even awesome. really look through all that. I mean, yeah, like, I didn't, I didn't I, even bother. Mate, bro. That was. I I, I I never that. tweet, but I am gonna put a tweet out to Jagex regarding this because yeah, I I'll, honestly I'll, think I'll that. I'll retweet it. I'll click like. You know, everybody do it. All right. I'll make a Korean avatar and talk shit on it. So I'll do my part. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, even pro if you po if you make this tweet, Rexy, uh, we'll put it in the video. So then, you know, people whoa, can click whoa, on whoa, it. And, that uh, sounds like that a lot of work. Me. Come on. <laughs> oh, mate, let's let's do it. In which case, I'll hold off on doing it now, so we can like formulate a proper one after we finish the podcast. Hell yeah, right. I, I don't want to just put it up in my native like farmer <laughs> fucking writing and make no my, sense. My native That's fine. farmer we'll put some writing. writing. <laughs> <laughs> sure, right uh is that everything that we were planning to cover today boys oh wait how about we just give a general consensus what do you guys think of this warning you know just New, like uh, as a whole i'm excited for the yeah. fish ring uh <laughs> like um what would you what do you guys think would you, you guys be okay if it came into the game i would vote game? yes it's yeah, a pretty sound it. skill i mean i, same, I would same, i same. would i would vote yes as well. let's take out fire making and just fucking I mean, yeah, that's that's it. that's something that you hear. All people are like, "Oh, it doesn't like." What's the point, dude? What's the point of fire making? Like, uh, you uh, literally just make fires, right? Like, it, here's a good nothing. analogy. Here's a good analogy. You know how like uh, the original 151 Pokemon, right? Everyone's like, "Dude, they're the best." And then when you got these new Pokemon coming out, it's like, is that isn't that just Gen like a seven? Yeah, isn't that like a garbage can or a vanilla cone? And you're like, yeah, there's a dude. There's what the fuck's a Voltorb? You know what I mean? Yeah. What's a Volt? No, it's a hey, Pokeball, hey, right? What's its yeah, evolution? What's you turn it upside mind. down, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's Yo, a what's a Magnemite? What's a Mister Mime? They're dumb too. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's like, come on, bro. I love them. I love them. They're dumb. I love them, but you know, uh, still yeah. it falls within Pokemon rules. Where who gives a fuck? Yeah. Right? It's just, yeah, just like Ring. Hey, look, man. If we have fire making as a skill, we can definitely have some other skills. Yeah. But I understand if it doesn't come out this year, uh, I think Jagex will definitely try to, um, you know, re I mean, tweak it a little bit. Probably not too much anymore because it's probably at, like, a really good point. There but, should uh, be they, sailing they included it. in warding, too. Let's be real. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, know, dude, you can you can ward a boat together and then just bam. For real. How else so would you get it? Sky, you know? you yeah. could be the magical Mind sails and then construction for the body. <laughs> and then you'd be like a car in RuneScape where you get like spray painted yeah. and shit. Oh, God. Yeah, anyways, man. Um, if it's not coming out this year, I mean, it's not coming out this year. But if it doesn't, if it doesn't pass this year, they'll, you know, they'll probably pitch it again next year. And probably the year after that as well. And we'll be dead, pass. dude. God, it's so, like 10 years from now. Jeez. I think at some point... I think everyone's gonna just be like, you know what? I think it's time we get a new skill. It's been a while. I don't think the sentiment is there yet where, where most people are feeling that way. So, no. Um, I think, I think maybe a few more years. Dude, that might be one of those things. Like, it might just be yeah. like over time we just get more accepted of things. Cause I know that's definitely what's happened oh, for no. us so far with old school. Yeah. So yeah, it oh, might no. just be a. It might just be a matter of time. We need to chill it, out a it little is bit. Definitely. Like, just, let, just let it did, happen. Did you guys play before the GE was in the game? Yeah, like, I played when it yeah. first came out. Yeah, like you remember when when old school first came out, everyone's like, "No GE, never yeah. GE, don't want to see it." And then like you know, two years later, and guess what like, happened? Everyone's like, "Yes, we need this in the game." I think the same thing will happen. No, with the okay, here's another 100%. good example: um, God Wars. No, yeah. no to God Wars. Guess what? I love Six God Wars. Later, yeah, God Wars pet hunting. Give it to me, you know. So, uh, another good example is probably Corp. No Corp. No spirit mm -hmm. shields. Guess what? We're here we now. got him. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think I think the same thing. Yeah, will definitely happen. Yeah. With boarding, hundred percent. Yeah, no skilling, no new skills. All right. Yeah, I agree. This year, no new skills, but maybe two years from now, think about it. People's people might be more lenient on that. Yeah. So. No, definitely. But, but but definitely no MTX though. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. We stick with that one. Okay. Remember, guys, no MTX. 
<laughs> yeah, I think we'll be good. All right. Anyways, let's wrap it up, boys. Yo, Dave, it's been an honor. Thank you very much for coming on, man. We really appreciate it. Where can the people you find me. you? Yeah, uh, yeah, you can find me on YouTube at Losal Gamers, and same with Twitch. I stream like pretty much every day, four to six hours. Hardcore content. A lot of uh, been doing a lot of raids lately. Four plus eight raids, so like massive scaling. Uh, yeah. Getting into you know, like I said, I finished Cerberus, so doing a lot of God Wars content on the hardcore, a lot of risky stuff, man. Awesome, mate. Well, we'll have you down in the description, so guys, make sure you go and check him out. Again, let's try to get 400 likes on this podcast. <laughs> Easy. Easy, That'd dude. be fucking awesome. And we Easy. guarantee Blow your that, kiss. Dude, the next time we upload it, if we get 400 likes, the next podcast we do, there will be no talking over anybody. Oh, be hey, can I... Thing. We'll have 30 I just seconds talked over here. you and completely ruined that that whole. Vibe. <laughs> I say it. I'm maxing my Iron Man in a month. I'm giving away an Elijah and Spirit Shield on that stream. So. Oh, the plug! <laughs> so, oh, if yeah. you want, I'm just saying. Don't do I'm just saying. Remember yeah, though, just, if you go to a stream, yeah. Dave well, is Dave. short for Dabriel, so you gotta yeah, call you go, him Dabriel. Dude, people legitimately call me that. You think you're the first one, man? <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to make it more popular. Uh, Dabriel, oh, guys. God. Okay. <laughs> That's What's it. the date for the... Oh, yeah. The the date. Uh, August 18th. Gabriel. Sunday.